out here. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> um, um, wow, okay. Um, Harvest, thank you for... Oh my God, why is that happening twice? Why am I hearing it twice? Oh, I'm hearing it twice, but you guys aren't hearing anything. Oh no, <gasps> I'm sorry. <sighs> this whole time. Hello. <gasps> Jimmy, hi. Oh my God, Jimmy, how are you? I love you. <laughs> Hello, guys. If you have not yet checked out Jimmy Wetzel, you absolutely need to. Jimmy's like a thousand percent funnier than me. <laughs> Jimmy's a thousand percent funnier than me and also a very good friend. They're just a wonderful person, so. Allow me to, there you go. Oh, Zek got there first. Thank you, Zek. <laughs> I need it to happen, Jimmy. <laughs> I need it to happen. It must be acknowledged. Well, hello, um, every, everybody. I, I wasn't, uh, uh, I wasn't prepared for this, but uh, Harvest, thank you for resubscribing as an Alacritus Alchemist. Welcome back to the fold. Jenna, thank you for resubscribing as well. And Jimmy, thank you too. <laughs> And then Harvest has gifted two five sub gift bombs to the chat. So welcome to the fold. Agro the horse, Butchy Wolf, Bad Andy writes, One 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 and Neek, Cons are alive, Epi, Sparta, it's a girl, Nickel, Kaito Cam, and Spellhammer. Thank you so much, Harvest. All of the res resubscribes. Oh god, it's still happening. That's fine. I'll fix it. <laughs> Oh, hi, thank you so much for the- I'm looking. Where is it coming from the second time? There is, ah, it must be this. Okay, it's either this or it's this or it's this, but it doesn't matter because I'm turning them all off so we will only hear one alert sound. There we go. Ginger Wrap, thank you for the 200 biddies. Thank you. <laughs> and um, uh, did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? And Chase, thank you for the 100 biddies as well. You guys just like coming out here and retro. Oh, good. I'm glad you're almost finished with the Nancy archives because it's almost time for us to play another Nancy game. Not today, but very soon. Ooh, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm just like, why? Why is it happening twice? Thank you for the 200 biddies, <laughs> Kenobi. <laughs> I do not know. Keep 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 the hype train going. Yeah, how how are you how are you guys all doing on this fine day? On this fine day. And yes, we're gonna we're gonna play a Nancy game. I don't know I don't know particularly when. Maybe not Thursday. Maybe on Sunday. Maybe on Sunday we'll play the Nancy, but we're gonna we're gonna play the Nancy game. I hope I like blended all my makeup properly because I like ran in here and was like, must finish getting ready and turn on I turn on the screen. Trying to break through a writer's block with your head. That's that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Doing uh There we go. Now it sounds Better. It sounds better. Thank you for the hundred biddies, Nat Merrick. <laughs> um, update on your right hand. It's slowly getting better, ah, oh, but it still hurts. Hands are really hard to try and heal to, because you use them so much, even without thinking. Or at least I do. Like whenever my wrist is damaged, I just am still flailing it all over the place because I'm me and that's how I talk. And I'm just like, blah, blah, ow. Hands are hard. It's just like it's just like feet and legs. You have to walk on them, so it's hard to get them to recover. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Jimmy. Zero productivity for two weeks, but you have more energy. More energy poured into Minecraft? That seems like a win. A decent day for work. A nice 48 degrees, so no more freezing. And oh, that's good. You. Kate! Kate, oh, Kate, congratulations on your one year subversary. Can we get some chariot dances in the chat for Kate? Thank you for resubscribing, Kate. Welcome back to the fold. You you got calluses on but Oh god! Oh Jimmy, oh no! Oh I hope that heals really fast because that sounds like hell. Anytime anything is wrong with my feet. Like, you know, this is a very this is a very minor thing comparatively, but you know when you cut your nails too short and like you cut your toenails too short and then you're just like, ow, it hurts to walk. <laughs> It's so fun, you can't help it. It's agony, it's agony. You guys, thank you so much.
much for the hype train. Did anybody get any, did anybody get any emotes to that hype train or do we all collectively already have all of the level two and level one hype train emotes? Cause that would be wild. <laughs> that would be quite wild if that's the case. It hurts more than stabbing yourself in the hand. You think you have weird pain sensations? It sounds like it. Oh, okay, you got one. You just got all the level two from that. That's fair. I'm I'm a hundred percent on the level two and the level one, and I think the level three. I think it's just level four and level five that I don't have a hundred percent on. You got one. Oh, cutting your nail too short hurts more than stabbing yourself in the hand. I don't know if it hurts more than stabbing yourself. I guess it depends on how short you cut the nail. Really, it's just like, there's certain sensations that the body can feel that like, if I feel it, then it's the only thing that I'm thinking about for like the next 12 days until it goes away. Cutting nails too short is one of them because then I'm just like sitting there doing this forever, like thinking about it, thinking about like, when will the nail grow? Same thing if my nails are like, like chipped if I've chipped a nail and then it's ridged and then I just sit there and I'm like it's not smooth it's not smooth it's not until I can go cut it it's just the things the things the human brain does you're excited to see this baking game me too Todd sent it to me and it looked really fun and then I saw Space Valkyries playing it on stream uh yesterday and you guys it looks it's so bright and warm it looks so cozy I'm very excited for it. I'm very excited. An actual comparison, not a theoretical. Well, I don't understand. You love games where food has big focus because the art can make food that looks tastier than real life food. You stabbed yourself in the thumb? I'm, that probably counts. You need your fingernails to be as smooth as the edge of a Blu-ray disc. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basic, basically that's, that's me. I just like, there's just, there's just like very certain things. You know how it's kind of like when you have like a sore throat or a cold or something and you're like, wow, <laughs> think about all of the days of fine health that I've taken for granted now that I have this most infuriating thing that I'm trying to ignore 100% of the time. It's just like that. <laughs> and now you feel a real weird pressure to do it right. Oh no. If you're, if you're, if you're trimming your nails, um, after the shower? Before the shower? They always say to trim your nails after the shower because it's better for them or something. I don't know. Don't don't take like personal body care advice from me because I have no idea what I'm doing like any of the any percent of the time. <gasps> Boy gender. Thank you for the crown. Thank you. Um, I tried to get the Capogen thing working on IRL again and I have it working, but it's only working for, um, like, for the explosion. It won't, it doesn't work on just regular emotes. It's only working for, like, I think, subs and cheers and tips and, and, like, that kind of thing, and then it'll do the explosion. And I have not figured out what is glitching with the Stream Elements program to, to make it not do regular emotes, so. We should talk about this, though. Oh, yeah, we should talk about that. That's correct. Um... Uh, you guys know that I'm working on a lot of game work, uh, a lot of the time, but one of the fun, fun things about being a game designer is that often you're, like, I'm just like, oh, it worked! Well, who knows? I was, who knows? One of the fun things about being a game designer is that you're often under NDA, and so you're not allowed to announce things, um, until somebody else allows you to, to announce it, and, uh, this past weekend, I have something to announce now, which is that um, I am going to be working with a bunch of really cool game developers and also uh, the group Grid and also the nonprofit Embrace Race to create a video game that is going to raise awareness about COVID and the disproportional effect it has had on communities of color because of the impacts of structural racism. <laughs> Sounds easy, right? <laughs> but but yeah, that's it's a it's a game that I'm gonna be able to help make and it's like it looks super cool because it's really up my alley of like trying to explore ways to take games and make them something super like valuable, something that people can learn from, something that people can empathize with. 
Um, so I'm very excited. I'm very excited about it. And I, and I actually get to announce it now. So, yes. Keep your eyes peeled. That will come out at some point. <laughs> Them being softer kind of throws off your feel for it. That's fair. Do what you want. But you should never file your nails because they'll snag and break. These rules? <laughs> These rules for the human body? Why didn't anybody present me with a handbook? You bite your nails to to shorten them. Mm. Hey, Puff Pastry! Hey! With a name like that, you've come to the proper stream. I'm actually- so uh, normally I wait until like the 30 minute mark to start playing the game. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna wait an additional like three and a half minutes to be polite and then I'm gonna start playing the game because I'm actually really excited to play this one. It just like, it just seems, it just seems really nice. It seems really nice. I can't wait to see for myself how nice it is. Um, if anybody, I'll, I'll get the link for you guys just in case because I imagine you guys will want the link if you end up, if you end up liking the game. But I'll add that the game is, it's on like a, it's on a small sale right now. So if it does end up being something you want, you should you should check it out. You seen this one in an online store somewhere? It's definitely for sure on Steam. And it, I think it came out recently. It's by, um, I do not know how to pronounce this name properly because there's an umlaut over the I and an accent over the E, but it's by Eloise LaRoche. Um, and who has made a bunch of other like really, really cute cozy games. One of which has been on my wish list for a billion, a billion years, which is Alchemy Story, which in which you are an alchemist. So this is this is um, their latest release about Le Bicoli. Yeah. So I'm very excited. Basically, anytime any kind of game comes out like this, I'm like I 5,000% want to support this because I want even more games like this out there. Everyone should get a handbook for their bodies. Yeah, I, I I agree. I agree, Violet. I think that like, I think, well, like information like that, I don't know, we leave it up to, we leave it up to like parents to teach kids and parents don't always do that. So like, it would be great if there were like in school libraries or something, books about that that are targeted for that age demographic and are like present, like obvious, like you walk into the library and there's like a little, there's a bunch of them set out or maybe not, maybe not, maybe not like obvious, but in a hidden corner so that if you're checking out the puberty book, nobody has to know, like give, give, give people like a little paper bag to stick the book in so that the kids aren't afraid to, to check it out. Something like that. Something where it's more accessible <laughs> for people. So you can decide if you want it that exactly me, me, uh, me too. Basically, basically I'm like going to other people's streams and I'm like, well, how's this game? <laughs> You were homeschooled except for one year of high school and your mom did a better job than your high school teachers. That's fair. But your mom is also a healthcare worker. <laughs> your mom is a healthcare worker. It's amazing. Uh, well. It depends on your state, too, probably, how good of a job your school will do teaching you about the human body, to be honest. I think I might have had that American, Gr Amer American Girl puberty book as a kid. Yeah! Ah, the care and keeping of you is that what it was called my mom's my mom gave me that book as a kid and it was like the most educational thing like it was better than all the stuff they taught us in school I 100% I agree there it was a really good book if I if I ever come into contact with a young child under my care I'd try to give them something similar I don't know when that would happen but hey so many of us had that book that's awesome I, I'm glad you, they made it to help us. And like, man, that book was so like progressive for the time because like they showed like girls of different of different races. They showed girls with different body types. Like you know, they they really were like going for normalizing things. That book was awesome, frankly, compared to literally every single other thing that I came into contact with about puberty as a youth. That book was awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the point of American Girl, isn't it? Good question. I do not know the answer to that because I am not, um, my microphone. 
I, yep, not my, not my forte. So let's get ready to play the game here. Ooh, I hope I can get, let me make sure that I can get the, get the audio working properly. Since that's always the issue. Awesome. All right, music, Shh. you're beautiful, but shut up. And over to the game. Whee! All right, so this is a uh, lemon cake. Uh, it's probably too quiet for you guys to hear. Let me turn it up for you. Turn it up for you a little bit. Let's see if that's better. Eh. Sounds like it could still be a little bit louder. What do you guys think? A little bit louder? It's gonna make you hungry? It's probably gonna make you hungry because it made a lot of people on Space Valkyries' stream hungry, so. Oh, congratulations, Roni. That Blitzball match is really frustrating and I only ever beat it by completely cheesing it, so. They've updated it and made a sequel for slightly older girls. Maybe I should just get that, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe I should just get that for myself, just to double check and make sure my knowledge is up to date. Here, I'm gonna make it slightly louder again. How's that? Is that is that a, is that primo primo audio level? Oh, that's pretty cool of American Girl. It's pretty cool of them to be to be doing that. I do like that this, like, opening menu music feels very, like, triumphant. Like, it feels very much like we're about to go on, like, a transcontinental journey is what it feels like with this game right now. This music, like, this music almost reminds me of, like, something vaguely Oregon Trail-ish. It's just like a much a much nicer and like happier version of like some kind of like journey music. You know what I mean? All right, let me make sure best video quality. All right. I wanted to see if there was any kind of like subtitles or anything like that. Let's go. Uh, new game. Mm, please. This is a lemon cake. It is a bakery uh, simulator basically. All right, character creator, go. Okay, so it looks like this is gonna be a little bit, the character creator is probably not gonna be that, um, not gonna have that many options, I'd assume. Let's see, eye color. Something, something to keep in mind about this game as we're playing it is that the entire thing was made by one person. Uh, made and published by one person, which for me is fairly impressive. Um, I hope that they have some, I hope that they have diverse hairstyles though, I don't. Okay, there's one. <laughs> they got curly hair. It's surprising how some games don't even have curly hair as a hairstyle. Oh, okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Not that many hairstyles, but included diverse ones, so I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Not that many short hairstyles, though. I think there is, like, what, one, two. So only three. Only three short hairstyles. Uh. Uh, my hair's, like, my hair's, like, this dark. That's about right. That's about right. What am I, what is my outfit gonna be? You can also buy things t later on to like change what you're wearing. Oh my God, I wanna wear like a snug little turtleneck. Oh wait, how many other shirts are there? I wanna wear, I wanna wear like a, sn just a snug AF turtleneck and then change. Oh my God, this is gonna be so cute. Hey, Dorty. Hey, sorry, sorry. You love character creation in games. They got up for one minute and it looks so cute. There's too many good Sims ga sim games now, and that's exactly the kind of problem I want to have in my game sphere. 
All right, let's see what kind of... I don't think I'm gonna go for the shorts. I do like the long pants. I, I wanna be like serious. Oh no, but I love, oh no, I love the skirt. Oh, the skirt is really cute. Oh my God. I get to go light academia in this game. You guys, I get to be real fashion in this game. Hang on, let's figure out my socks. Oh, it's either long or short. Are, which one feels more light academia? These, these kind of, I feel like, I feel like these, this feels more light academia. Oh no, but the skirt. Hey, Clone Trooper Kev, how are you doing? They put all the energy into these cute outfits. <laughs> oh, learn a lot in your class. Oh, right, I should probably name myself. I'm just gonna name myself me. It's me. Can I ask what SDV is? I'm not sure what that means. All right, WASD to move around. Left, left shift to sprint, space bar to interact with the ghost. Well, let's go find, hey, oh my God, oh my God. Hang on, I have to hide myself so you can see this creature in its full glory. It has a tiny little chef's hat. It has a tiny little chef's hat. Ah! Oh, Stardew Valley, that's fair, that's fair. So, this is a door. That's my, that's my ghost voice, I guess. What are you doing here? My shop has been closed for ages. Ah, uh, the door was unlocked. Well, it's hard to use a key as a ghost. Or anything else from this human world, really. How rude of me, I still haven't welcomed you. I haven't seen a customer in so long, I'm starting to forget my manners. My name is Miss Bonbon. Bon. I ran this bakery my whole life, but now the greenhouse is in ruin. The kitchen is a mess, the store is empty. And I can't even bake bread! Tell me, how am I supposed to knead dough without hands? Uh, I'm sorry, I can get a little carried away when I think about baking. I just wish I could smell the aroma of my favorite recipe one last time. A lemon cake! But I have to admit, this is hopeless. I'll never be able to bake again, and my little bakery will remain closed forever. What, you think you could bake a lemon cake? Oh, you think baking so easy. No, 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 it's an art. It would take you ages to perfect my lemon cake recipe. Tell me, what is your name? Mm, Kara, Kara the Apprentice Baker. It does have a nice ring to it. Maybe if I teach you a few tricks, you could bake something. But first, let's sweep up the mess in this kitchen. Pick up the broom? The broom! Oh. Oh! Oh, so the messes actually make it harder for you to walk through. Very important to note. Do I pick it up with my cursor? With the space bar. Sweep up around the kitchen. Clean up this ghost's mess. I'm surprised that with this ghost, do I need to like clean these up? Guess not. Is there anything in here I need to clean up? Guess not. Oh no, boop. Tell Miss Bonbon bon, I cleaned up the kitchen. Ooh, look how shiny the floor is now. Well, there's still a lot of work to do to fix everything, but at least we can get started with baking. Now, you're only an, an apprentice baker, so we'll start with something easy. A French baguette. Um, I don't know that French baguettes are easy though. I also, I also like baking. I prefer baking over cooking personally. I feel like everyone's either like a default baking person or a default cooking person because they like appeal to two different kinds of creative thinking because baking is more strict on following the exact like proportions and cooking is, depending on what the recipe is, but cooking's a little bit more free. Hey Derek, how are you? You're a cook, not a baker. You like both? Done. My theory's been dashed. <laughs> don't worry, Kara. I'm sure you'll be able to prepare it. As long as you don't burn it. Uh, recipe in my menu. Click. Pick up the bag of flour. Uh-huh. Ingredient in the mixing bowl. Mix the ingredients to make French baguette dough. Place the dough in the oven. 
pick up some firewood. What is this? Kiki's delivery service? Pick up my pastry once it's ready. Don't let it burn. Is it gonna ding? Uh. Look, I've baked this pastry. Ooh, Kara, that baguette looks great! Not as good as mine used to be, of course. But it's not bad for your first try. Ah, uh, I can hear the bell ringing! Wait, does that mean a customer just walked in the store? I bet they smelled your baking from the street and couldn't resist coming in. Well, we can't leave a customer waiting. You should go and take their order. A gluten-free lifestyle does require a lot of making stuff up. It's true. It's true. Zek improvs recipes left, right, and center. That is very, very true. Cookie cookies do have, a, have more room for improv as well. Hello, my friend. Eh. 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 Serve. Here you go. I served a pastry. I'm just going to leave him in there by himself and come over here. Enjoy your lurk, yellow ring. Great job, Kara. You sold your first pastry. You did well, but don't relax just yet. You still have one last task to do. Clean up the table after a customer's done eating. I know, Kara, I know. No one likes doing dishes. But if you don't clean a table, no other customer will want to sit down, and you'll miss out on a ton of orders. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get back to work. Enjoy your confe- Eat faster! Eat faster, sir! Oh, okay, you're done. Thank you. Nice and clean. I never thought I'd see this bakery up and running again. Oh, I unlocked I unlocked an achievement. Well, it's still far from what it used to be, but I have a feeling you could restore this little bakery to its former glory. And maybe one day, you could even bake a lemon cake for me. Uh, let's not get carried away just yet. For now, you should learn a few simple recipes. Here, I've added another recipe to your active menu, a sweet roll. It's a bit more complicated to prepare since it requires two ingredients, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Oh, and let's not forget about the marshmallow twist. Candy is the easiest to prepare as it doesn't need to be baked, but it also doesn't sell for quite as much, so keep that in mind. Oh, I can hear the bell ringing. More customers coming in. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't stay around like this. We wouldn't want to spook our first customers away. Don't worry, I'm not going far. I'll keep the ingredients well stocked to make sure everything's running smoothly. Oh, okay. So you can't bake your own baked goods, but you can go to the grocery store and get me flour. Honestly, actually though, what, who am I kidding? I have the I have the more awesome job here. If somebody else has to run and get the ingredients and I just get to do the fun baking part. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Candy is the hardest. No, you, how do you know? This video game clearly knows what it's talking about. Oh, and don't forget to open your bakery so that customers can come into the store and order pastries. Good luck, Kara! Thanks, I'm gonna go open this bakery. How do I open it? Did I open it? Is it open? It's open. La, 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 la. Should I bake before they want some food? Here, I'll bake a, I'll bake a baguette. Make a baguette real quick, because that should be real easy for me to do for a hot second. And go over here, see what you want. What do you want? Order, down here. Sweet roll. Sweet roll. Oh, hang on. Okay, hang on. Hang on, I made this, and this is not... Can I put this up here? Oh, God. Oh, no. What do I do with this? <gasps> Hi. What do I do with this? I don't want it. Oh! Uh... Did I already fuck up? Did I just mess up immediately? Can I? Ugh. Ugh. Sweet roll? Sweet roll, okay, I'm gonna make a sweet roll. Can I make a sweet roll with something else in my, okay. Trash can it is. Immediately messed up, first try. We're off to a great start. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I've totally got this, my ghost friend. This is a, this is a world I know what to do in. know what to do. What do you want? What do you want? 
Uh, ooh. Oh, now you want the baguette. I see. I make the whole dang baguette for you and you don't want it. But now, uh-huh, uh-huh. You couldn't have walked to that table like two seconds faster, I swear. Do I get like bonus points for how fast I fulfill their orders? Oh, this really is just like capitalism, huh? Fre French baguette it is for the second time. Here we go. I, I thought that I would have been able to... Oh, well, I don't... I wonder if this works on controller as well. Here is your baguette, my dear. There you are. Oh, sweet, another new customer already. We only have the one table. I'll just like hang out here. I'll just be creepy. Hey. Oh yeah, you lost my cam. Whoops, <laughs> my bad. This whole time. All right, what do you want? You want a French roll? What do you want? Uh, they're gonna take their time, aren't they? This is me, like, being a baker. I'm like, what do you want? Tell me what you want. Say it to my face. Hurry up. I don't have all day. What, what food do you want? All right. Another one of these. Oh! Ooh, you're already gaining so much experience! Pick a recipe, I'll add it to your recipe, but oh, ooh, oh, God, ooh, oh, uh, you know, you know what? I, th You know what I think would be fun? I think this will be fun. Let's have, let's have you guys vote every time on what new recipes to add, um, because I think that that would be fun. So we got pretzel, we got a, a chocolate cookie, and we got a chocolate croissant. So pretzel, cookie, or croissant. You have exactly one minute, good luck. Vote for your fave. Vote for your fave. Don't yell at me if I misspelled croissant. <laughs> this game is this game is adorable. I agree. I agree. Candy apples are your nemesis. Wow, no votes for the croissant, really? I thought there would have been wait. I got I like legit thought the croissant was gonna beat everything, but no. No croissant votes. Only pretzel. <laughs> it's a very oh, oh you can't see my crayon. There you go. The music is very cute. All right, well, it, ooh. All right, I was gonna say the pretzel, but then the cookie started going up. Here, let me move. Um, oh, that didn't work very well. This stream at dinner time is either good or bad timing. Uh, good? We'll say good, we'll go with good, cause this game definitely made Space Valkyries want some donuts. All right, pretzel it is! Sweet pretzel. Oh, it like tells you how much they're worth. I'll go with the sweet pretzel, that's fine. We'll go with sweet pretzel. All right, let me let me finish making this, this lady her, the thing that she wants. Um, sweet roll, yeah, sweet roll. Flour. Let's make it. Man, I do kind of hope that I have more than one oven eventually. I'm sure this game lets you upgrade. I'm very positive this game lets you upgrade lots of things. What are we doing here? I wonder if customers will eventually like get angry and leave if I'm not doing... Oh, my store is closing? I don't know that I've made enough money to live off of today. Yeah, it was pretty close. The cookie and the croissant tied, which makes me feel happy. Alright, we got another one of these. Oh, is this the music for, like, closing time? Is this the equivalent of a bar playing the song Closing Time to tell everybody to GTFO? I'm playing this, like, calming piano music, but really I'm like, Get out! I want to go home! I've been on my feet all day! go. How much- is this all the money I've gotten? $12.87? I mean, that's fair. I feel like that's an appropriate- I'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail. I feel like that's an appropriate, um, what, what I charged like a dollar for all these things. It's 16 o'clock in the evening, so I guess we close at 4 p.m.? 
Is it that we close at 4 p.m. or is it that it looks like? Okay, here it is. Feels real. Pastries baked, seven. Customer served, six? Perfect, I only one perfect order? Whose order did I mess up? Are you, what are you suggesting? My dear pastry friend, Miss Bonbon? Bon? Select a bonus? These recipes will in your active menu tomorrow. Select a bonus to learn more about it. The average price of your pastries is affordable. Yay. The average bake time is fast. A vegan, a vegan option is included in my menu? <gasps> a gluten-free option! Oh, it's the candy. Oh, it, they're saying they're saying I did a good job with the candy because it's gluten-free. Okay. <gasps> I wonder if I'm gonna be able, I'm probably not, but imagine if I could have an entirely gluten-free bakery in this game. That would be um, awesome. So these are the recipe books. Most of these are definitely gonna have gluten. Basically, it's candy and frozen stuff that might not have gluten. What do we got? Shop. Can't wait to see the bakery rebuilt. What is this? A display counter? Display, uh, sure, I'll display some pastries. Ooh, a display counter. I'm sure the customers will be happy. Now that you've bought it, just place a pastry by the store window. Oh. And watch as even more hungry customers stroll into the store. If a customer doesn't have time to sit down and place an order, they'll just pick their favorite pastry from the display counters. Be sure to prepare a few pastries before the lunch rush starts. Or else you'll have trouble keeping your display counters well stocked. I see. Then we have outfit upgrade, 25 bucks. New hats and aprons for 25 bucks. One spotlight on a delicious pastry. Oh, lamination. And when they run out for the day they run out. Yeah, that's fair. Another display counter, much more affordable, only twelve fifty. This is a kitchen counter, a new counter to place down items in the kitchen. I don't have enough money for it, but it sounds awesome. This is a cocoa tree. Oh my god, I don't need this yet, but I'm gonna buy it anyways. Chocolate, my favorite. Don't worry, Kara, I won't steal him any from your cocoa tree. As long as you make good use of it, you'll be able to harvest cocoa for all kinds of tasty recipes. Just make sure to wear your to water your tree from time to time or else it won't grow anything. All right, um, and then from there I can get <gasps> cherries or strawberries. Oh, oh heck yeah. This game lets me upgrade things a lot. Koopo. The Koopo voice is different from Miss Bon Bon's voice. Um, this game, yeah, but this game is gonna let me upgrade stuff by a lot and that makes me excited because that's what I, that's what I like Koopo. Koopo Koopo. Anyways, I should probably, I don't know, I don't know where all these freaking pastries are coming from, Koopo. All right, I'll put, um, where's my, hang on, where's my, what, where, where'd my pretzel recipe go? Was there something I needed to do that I didn't do right to have my pretzel? Hmm. Maybe there's a button I forgot to click. We'll put the sweet roll in the mirror since people seem to have really liked what was going on with the sweet roll yesterday. Take your time. All right. There we go, what do you want? Damn it. All right. I'll make you a, a fresh one. I won't give you the display window piece. I'll give you a fresh sweet roll. Freaking spilling dough all over the floor. What's wrong with me? Go. Go. Here you are. Nailed it. What do you want? Is it going to be a sweet roll? No, it's candy. Our first order of candy. A marsh... Mallow twist, which to be fair, I would never get. I would never get a marshmallow twist. But that's fine, because you're paying for it. Thank you. You know, you gotta include items on the menu that even you don't like. Items that even you don't like. Water. Oh, this is not, yeah, put, I can put, 
I could put the cocoa plant back on the tree. That's awesome. Yeah, that that's good. Baguette. Hello, Psyduck. This is very epic music for our fucking firewood. Uh, for our, uh... This is exactly what it would be like if I ran, like, a really cozy bakery. Every time I'd go out to the front, I'd be like, Hi, like, thank you so much for coming. We're really chill and relaxed. And then I'd go back into the kitchen and I'd be like, Fucking hell! All the time. Who wanted the... Oh my god. Oh no. You? All right, we need, oh my God, there's too, too many customers, which is a great problem to be having. I'll make another sweet roll for the, for the window. Here you go, wash this one. Oh my gosh, too many customers, too many customers. Too many customers on the dance floor. Too many customers. Too many customers on the dance floor. Ooh! <gasps> okay, so now we can have a strawberry donut, which, oh, no, let's not do the strawberry donut because we don't have the strawberry for it. But we can do chocolate croissant or chocolate cookie. Those are our options. You're in the back, why not? No one hears it. Kitchen staff tend to be pretty vulgar. That makes sense. So we're voting between. Uh, not the strawberry, because I'm just not going to be able to afford to get the strawberry donut yet. So we're going between the cookie and the croissant. Last time they tied, which will come out on top this time. Hungry for cake? I wouldn't mind some. I wouldn't mind some. Oh, damn. All right. Well, it kind of looks like the croissant is winning in a landslide. So I'm going to just go with the croissant. Croissant, croissant. Okay. How do I add it to my menu, though? What am I doing wrong? Is there like a... Oh, controls? Let me let me see if I can plug in a controller. I want to know if this, this game uh, works with a controller because I feel like it would be a lot nicer to play with a controller and also it would be nicer for you guys not to have to hear the constant clack clack oh damn it oh it's already plugged in that's why let me see anything all right all right, I guess not. It seems like it's it seems like it's controller only. Maybe 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 they'll add that in eventually. Who knows? And there's shortcuts. Chocolate croissant. We will figure out how to put it in at some point. I got this. I got this and I got this so that I could go up here. I'm doing a terrible job of cleaning my gross bakery cafe. My gross cafe because I keep... Oh my god, we're already closing? The window displays are empty again? Let me just put a freaking baguette there then. What do I care? It's, it's happening too fast. Maybe I should put the marshmallow so I don't have to wait on the... Can I trade? Ooh, you can trade out like that. Here you go, just you. Another baguette. There you go. Oof, there we go. We only made $9.18 today. But that's fine. We're living the dream. We're living the bakery dream. They just taste like butter. Yeah, croissants are real. Croissants are real nice. Do I need to like go over here and be like, oh, no. All right, so let's try, okay, maybe in the menu. 
Oh, I have to swap things out currently. Well, let's see. This one's 129. Let's, um, huh? How do I? Oh, like that. And then pretzel in. French baguette is easy. All right, let's swap out the French baguette. It doesn't make me enough money, even though it's nice and easy, and I do like that. We absolutely have to keep the marshmallow twist on there because it's the only gluten-free thing. And then we'll add in the chocolate croissant and see if it's if it's uh, if it's any any better. And we can buy. Let's buy. I can't even buy myself a kitchen counter. Rippity doo da. What is this? What is this? Did somebody give me a? What is this? Is this a present for me? What is it? How do I? What do I do with this? What do I? What do I? Can I open it? I don't. I don't understand. I'm just gonna put it back. I don't know. I'll just put it back. I don't know. I don't know what it means. All right, so this is the point at which we need to water our, we need to water our tree and make sure that it gets everything. All right, we have a chocolate croissant order. Let's make it happen for this wonderful person. We need sugar flour, and cocoa. That's all you need for a chocolate croissant. Oops. I hope that that tree will grow more than one cocoa, because if it doesn't, we're gonna be in trouble. Oh, freaking! Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Oh my god, another chocolate croissant? Do we happen to have extra? We do, okay, good. Thank goodness. Maybe if I run less, maybe if I run less, I'll spill less dough. Do you, I, I wonder if that's a thing in this game. It, it is, it is, it's been very cute so far. It's very charming. bet it does. Somebody bought my something. Somebody bought the present that somebody left there for me. Who and what? This would be a good time. Um, I want to mention that this game is on sale for like roughly like $13 USD. Um, so if it looks like a game that is up your alley, Give it a peek on Steam. Support the, these indie developers out here trying to make cozy, wholesome games to make all of our lives better. Being a baker and server would be so hard. That is very true. There's only one of us here. Hey, Fuzzborn. All right, oh, now he wants a pretzel, huh? You smelled the pretzel that was baking as I was cooking the pretzel. Now you want a pretzel, huh? I see how it is. I see how it is. I mean, you're allowed to you're allowed to want whatever you want. Okay, the window display is empty again. Might as well make another pretzel. These pretzels are selling like hotcakes. Pretzels every day. Every day. Every day. Ah, freaking firewood! I swear to God, God, no! Put this back. No! Oh! Oh! Ah uh ha -huh. Why didn't I get one additional counter? What kind of baker am I? How did this freaking ghost make this bakery work for so long without a counter? Without a counter! Wasting all this time, not earning money. Oh my god, all these people want these freaking pretzels. I can't, I can't blame them. You know like Annie's pretzels in the mall that smell just incredible? And leave you leave you wanting. They just leave you desiring the pretzels. Miss Simley, thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here. I hope you're enjoying the look and vibe of this game, because I am. Here you go, clean this, all right. Over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I don't think anybody else is gonna be coming in. Uh, the door is wide open in this one, so yeah, they should be able to hear me screaming. <sighs> oh, I'm fine. I'm a natural baker, Yellow Ring. I'm a natural. Oh, you got the game? Oh, that's great. It is really fun so far. Um, I don't know what you're calling a perfect order, but I think I nailed today, so maybe you need to back off, Daily Report. Uh, let's see here. I didn't even level up today. That's how great today was. The types of pastries in my menu don't have variety? Why? Is it because they're all candy? I, I think there's... You need... You... I... You, I... Kitchen window. <gasps> Move pastries from the kitchen to the store quickly with a window counter. I want it. I need this freaking. You definitely hear me. <laughs> I am. I'm starting to, to slowly feel better over time. It's been nice. It's been nice. Your oven can just only one pretzel in one oven. It's day 63. Damn. All right. Well... No, I think I need the kitchen counter. I think I'm gonna go with the kitchen counter. You'll be able to place down an item on it when things get busy in the kitchen. But be careful not to leave food on it overnight. I won't stand a messy kitchen. Okay, all right. You can chill a little bit. Um, and then we have firewood upgrade, keep the oven burning longer. Repair an oven. Oh, that's 65 bucks. All right, well. Next day it is. It's Viola, thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here too. Next day. Me too. It's fun to watch the struggle. That's, that's very fair. That's very fair. Prepare my bakery for the day. Yeah, I'll prepare the bakery for the day. I've learned. I've learned to do that first. And then I'm gonna go water my tree. What is this for? What is this brush for? I wonder if I can have pets eventually. I'll put some fire- I'll load up some firewood since I don't need to pay for it and now we'll open the bakery. Nice and prepared, I've learned. I did! I saw the Stardew Valley board game. It seems fun. I'll probably give it a try eventually. Oh, really? Wow, I see. Hello. Chocolate croissant. I mean, imagine a freaking bakery where they get fresh ingredients on the daily from their own greenhouse in the back. That's pretty rare. Thank you, Yellow Ring. I want to see it. All right. Another pretzel. I mean, I am not at all surprised the pretzels are so popular here. Table needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, so does my floor. When am I going to get a robot vacuum for the back of my cafe? Put, paint it white and put little cat ears on it, huh? Oh god. Ran out of fire while baking. I'm sure this pastry is gonna turn out amazing. Alright, I'll make another pretzel. For the window display. Take this one out here. Here you go. There we go. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this a little bit. What's the difference between German and American style pretzels? Another 
chuck on his cross up. Gotta water the tree again. Ooh! Another level up. Let's see. I need egg? I don't know where to get eggs from. Strawberry donut, which we can afford if we want to. So, let's see. Chocolate cookie? We're, we're leaving out the egg Benedict because I just don't have eggs and that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem prudent. But we're going for the cookie or the donut. Spell donut whichever way you want to. Good luck. If the if the cookie loses again, which I have a feeling it might, I feel like, oops, I feel like uh, cookies uh, lose compared to donuts. But, you know, I'll feel bad. I'll feel bad. German style pretzels are served at baseball stadiums. Hmm. Hmm. More doughy and not a sweet. Oh, I, I like German style pretzels then. <laughs> Making it more doughy. Got it. Light and crispy. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the crispy donuts as much. That makes sense. Ooh, it's a tie so far. You generally, generally prefer cookies over donuts. Hey, Zephyrus. Zephyrus? Zephyrus. Zephyrus. I think I've always called you Zephyrus, so I hope that's okay. You generally prefer cookies over donuts? I... I feel like I prefer the donuts, personally. Ooh, and the donut wins. The donut wins. Strawberry donut. Here we are. What was I doing with this? Whatever. Who knows? Baking, probably. Liz Place, thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here. Donuts are too sweet for you. Valid experience. All right, what do I... Ooh, okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Eh. All right. New order was placed for a pretzel. Oh, man, I'm going to be running out of time. Let's make two pretzels. We'll double up on the pretzels again, just like we did the first time. Nobody orders the candy, which, like, I wouldn't order candy if I came to a bakery either. But, like, man, I, f I feel bad for the marshmallows, you know? Jelly-filled donuts. I like cream-filled donuts more than jelly-filled donuts. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ah, uh, firewood! I need this firewood to burn longer, yeah. I need I need to put one firewood in there and have it burn the whole entire day, please. I know my window displays are empty. I know a table needs to be cleaned up. How about you get your face? There's, listen, I'm busy. I'm busy. Uh, no, I'm not, it's the end of the day. I gotta go water my tree. New order for, oh, candy, that's so easy. And I was literally saying nobody orders candy. It's, oh, okay. Hmm. Here you are, thank you. Damn, look at her go. You eat it, it's the size of your head. Go for it, girl, go for it. You live your dreams live your dreams. You deserve everything great, probably. Yay! You'd buy candy from me? I... You probably shouldn't. <laughs> They're denser and not sweet. It's, it's very cute. It's very nice. I sell them, the more practiced I get at them. Oh, a, a recipe has been on the menu too often. Okay, I guess we'll take Marshmallow Twist off because it's been on there for too long. People getting angry at me for some reason. Um, menu too often, not a lot of options. Types of pastries don't have a lot of variety. Well, what if I get you a strawberry donut? Uh... 
have a vegan option, but not a gluten-free option, and a new recipe which makes the tip go up, but not a lot of variety. I guess there's not much that I can do about not having a lot of variety. Maybe, what if I take the pretzel out and I put this baguette back in? Does that fix it? It does not. It does not fix it. It does not fix it. I'll just keep the, I'll keep the pretzel, because the pretzel is one of our best sellers, but I'll probably have to get rid of it tomorrow. Ah, cheers, Fuzzborn. I will be able to today, I think. I can buy the strawberry. Yes, I can afford the strawberry and nothing else. <sighs> Donuts are here. Tell me to open the bakery. Like I don't know what to do. Strawberry plant! Okay, awesome. Strawberry plant and a cocoa plant. Just fill this up with some wood. Hello! It's me, the baker! You've probably only ever seen me running back and forth. Sorry about that, I know it's a little bit awkward. We're a bit understaffed, but I'm a small business owner trying to- Thanks! Bye! Have a great day! Goodbye! Alright, let's go put a- let's go put a strawberry donut in the displore, display. In the displore. Do I even have any customers yet today? Is everybody angry at me because my menu does not have enough variety? No, someone's trying to order. What you want? Pretzel. Decent choice, lady. Just like the one you saw in the window. Good taste, good taste. You know, the strawberry donuts are a new addition to our menu. A very great addition, in fact, I would say. If you like this donut, you should tell your friends. I swear, you've never eaten a donut like this in your life. So tell all of your friends. Lunch rush is starting soon. Listen, I'm doing my best. As it is. Already, you understand? I did. I did sell a pastry. He did take my window pastry right before the lunch rush. He did do that, didn't he? He did done do that. The table needs to be cleaned up. We want another pretzel. Strawberry donut. Yeah. Okay. Strawberry donut. Strawberry donut. Oh no. Oh, strawberry donut. Strawberry donut. I'm being run ragged. In a in a in a positive way, I guess this means I have a lot of business. The window displays are empty. How many fans do you think I have? An oven is out of firewood. The way to put the fake it, put it back! Okay, an oven and nose is a ah! Ha! Okay. What do you want? Alright, you're still thinking. Please continue to think for like a while. You should think for some time. Uh, did pretzel. Nobody wants these croissants. I guess nobody was interested in them. Um, 
number one. You wanted this. To pretzel lady. Apparently it's it's what I'm known for here now. <sighs> I wonder if we get like a speed upgrade up at any point or I know that you can get an assistant. order man this game is like this game is a little like this is a, this is a good distract you know what this game would be great on the switch i hope it i hope it's coming to the switch because this game would be like such a wonderful like busy busy work game on the switch types of pastries the, a recipe has been on the menu too often which one is it the croissant oh i delete the whole menu that's fine there aren't a lot of options in your menu. All right, uh, what have we not? We haven't had the baguette in a while. Go back up baguette. We haven't had the sweet roll. Put the candy back up. There we go. Now we got 50% tip, 50% tip. <sighs> it's, rel it's relatively easy, yeah. They, they try to make it very accessible. Littlewood is finally coming! Oh, that's great! I love Littlewood. It's so fun. You'll take a pretzel, please. Awesome. Oh, also, now would be a good time um, for me to mention um, there is a browser extension that you can install on Twitch, if you'd like, that basically allows you to see... To, to say what your pronouns are in chat and to see other people's pronouns with the browser extension installed. I currently have it, but, like... It, it, it only applies if you install it on, on your browser. So me having it doesn't mean that you guys can see it, but if you want to get the extension for yourself, you can click the link, it's right there. Exclamation point pronouns is how you how you get access to that link. So if anybody's interested, there you go. Yeah, I you have it, Accidental has it, a couple of you guys in here have it. And I've been meaning to shout it out and just keep forgetting. Keep the firewood burning longer, that's pretty good. Um, or a display counter. You know what? I don't even have enough time to keep my current display counter stocked. So I'm going to go with more firewood to make things easier. Some quality firewood. Oh, adopt a cow or adopt chickens. Okay. What is this option? Speed boost. Yes. And another oven. Here we have blueberry plants and crystal water to keep the plants watered for longer. A rail cart to move ingredients. Maybe I should save up for some of those. Display counter, a cat cafe, cat, 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 cat. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys, we can get cats to visit our cafe. Okay. And also the kitchen window. There are 200, 210 is a lot though. We seem very far away from where we want to be. But that's why you gotta keep dreaming. <sighs> Let's get in there. You just manifest? What up, lady? All right. You want the ba most basic of the basics and I ain't even mad. This pastry sells for nothing. I make like 
50 cents from you ordering candy. Maybe you should leave me a tip. I'm paying rent for this building, presumably. So you should pay me more money instead of sitting here at my table for 50 cents. If this were your apartment, you would spend more money to sit for that long. All right, sweet roll. Let's put a sweet roll in the window. Good, good. I'm glad you're going to the Dr. Mysterio. Baguette. The lunch rush is starting soon. Thank goodness I have something in the display this time. What you thinking of? Sweet roll? Let's get the sweet roll. On a roll, am I right? <laughs> Plant needs to be watered. Table needs to be cleaned up. Tables be five watered. I sold that pastry. All right, let me just get like a candy to put in the window then while the lunch rush is happening, knowing that we're gonna be running out of time. She bought it already. I mean, thank you, but like, dang, like I'm trying, I'm out here trying to, trying to keep, keep, keep the lights on, keep the, keep the, the mouths fed. No, oh, dang. Um, uh, baguette. Uh. Oh, cool. Somebody wants a baguette. Perfect. All right. New order was placed for a baguette. Ooh, new recipe. Okay. We're not gonna be able to get eggs anytime soon. Uh, and I also don't really, I wanna spend my money currently on trying to make the game a little bit easier for right now. And cherries cost 20 bucks, so we don't actually have enough money for cherries, which means we're finally gonna get to take the default chocolate cookie. Hooray! The poor chocolate cookie that's been ignored this whole time. You know, the chocolate cookie, it's a good, it's a staple, it's something, it's something we love, Kupo. Nobody, nobody, well, I somebody probably hates a chocolate chip cookie, but you can't really go wrong with chocolate chip cookies, Kupo. All right, let me get, let me get this in the door window then. Cause that'll be easier. Door window and clean and pastry. <sighs> well, that was tiring. That was tiring. But we made it. You feel like that was a good day? I think we're getting better at it. I think we're getting better at it over time. <sighs> Hello. Thanks, I made $9.25. Hmm. Can we get the chocolate chip cookie in there? I'll replace, I'll replace this. I'll replace the marshmallow twist with the chocolate chip cookie. And then let's see, $14, which is enough to give us another display counter. <laughs> Sure. That sounds good. Sure. No wonder this bakery was out of business. You right. You know, when you write, you write. Open the bakery, they say. As though that's not what I am trying to do currently. 
concurrently, in fact. It's nice that they give you an endless amount of time to prepare for your day. I wish they would let me prepare for my day. Like, I wish God would let me prepare for my day with an endless amount of time. That sounds awesome. Hopefully the two baking stands will increase our profits by a lot. So that I can get some of the cool stuff. want a sweet roll but not the one that I have in the window huh it's not good enough for you the display the display piece is not good enough for you all right whatever I'm not gonna judge imagine being able to sleep as much as you want yeah oh, that would be nice I woke up at 4 a.m. today alas worried about pumpkin she's fine she's doing great but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cat mom She thought the display one was stale. Rude of her! How dare she assume? She doesn't know my shop. When was the last time she came in? She doesn't know. I baked that freshly this morning. It's been an hour. Wait, is an hour long enough for a baked good to go stale? It might be. Oof, done. It is though. She's a Karen. Alright, gotta go bake another baguette. Ha has the firewood seemed to have been burning for a lot longer? I haven't been paying attention. There we go. I don't know, these people keep like sitting at the uh... Here, I'll make a sweet roll in advance. Lord knows people want these sweet rolls. They want these sweet buns! This game is called Lemon Cake. It's on sale right now for about 13 bucks. Damn it. Hey, pumpkin! Oh, actually, ooh! At the end of this day, I'll take a I'll take a quick BRB because um, I'll need to give Pumpkin some medicine. I'm sure, she's excited about that. Good for the day they're baked and will go stale overnight. The more you know. Chase. This is an innocent game, don't ruin it! <laughs> it remind it does remind me of a certain internet meme. <laughs> I think I'm doing a bad job. Eh, eh. Display, display, display window. Weed. Or number two. Here's your cookie. So many baguettes! I need so many baguettes! Alright, the store is closing. It's too late. It's too late, five me. Today, so that's good. Guess you're not completely ruined. I hope you never do. Oh, 11 pastries baked today, nine served, one perfect order, eight good. 
That's where we're at. Pumpkin, did you please tell me you did not go under underneath my bed? I have to give him medicine. We'll see if I can entice her out with treats or something. So what is this? A recipe has been on the menu too often recently. Um, which one is that? Is it sweet rolls? Or baguette? Sweet rolls and baguette? We put the donut on. And we put the candy. There we go. Good for the next day. <laughs> and we only have $14. Everything else costs at least $25, I think. Yeah. So we're going to have to start saving. All right. But before we do that, I'm going to take a quick break so that I can go. Uh, yeah, so I can go take care of my kitty. So while I'm gone, if you'd all like to go grab yourself a drink or a snack, rest your eyes by staring into the distance, stand up and stretch, do all the good things for yourself. <laughs> and I will be every... I'll leave this music on because this music is very pleasant to listen to, I think. And um, I will BRB, so BRB.
hello. <laughs> I came back. Thank you guys for uh, for your patience as I took care of my beloved cat, Pumpkin. Uh, oh, you dropped a $5 tip? Hey, aw, Fuzzborn. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. But yes, um, thank you for your patience. I know that that was a longer break than usual, but had to make sure that my that my child was okay I'm, i hope you understand <laughs> um real quick i'm gonna i'm gonna refill my water bottle and then we're gonna get going on the next day on the get go i hope they eventually port this game to the switch because this is exactly the kind of game that i'd love to play in bed um like when i'm really really tired at the end of the day hey obi-wan oh Thank you, Fuzzborn. All right. Let's confirm. Let's start a new day. Apparently the music stopped while I was gone, so sorry about that. It's a preparation. Thanks, I like it too. It's really warm, so I've been wearing it a lot. Um, basically, as soon as it's clean, I wear it again because it's so warm. So warm and snug. Make sure we... Oh, everything's good in here. All right, we can just go right away and open it. Come on in. The store is open. How are you feeling, sir? How are you feeling? What are you feeling? What are you wanting? Nice socks, sir. Good taste in socks and shirt. You have a great fashion sense. Thanks for taking my pastry. Make a... I did choose a, co a complicated recipes for today, didn't I? All the recipes with added ingredients. Go get a cookie for the display. Let's also go wipe this up. There's somebody out there ordering. I need firewood, dang it. Come on, fast burning firewood. All right. And they want a pink donut. A strawberry donut. He didn't pay, he technically paid, but it's hidden by my, um, it's hidden by my head, but he paid. predict where this where the melody of this music is gonna go yet. I did I did indeed sell a pastry. That is in fact my job. It's to sell pastries. I'll put a marshmallow twist up there. Give myself a bit of a break. Bit of a break before the lunch rush is starting. The table needs to be cleaned up. that up. There you go. What's your order? You want a donut? Another donut. Let's go. Donut, 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 donut. Strawberry. Alright, did I sell another pastry? I did. So let's get another one of you, another marshmallow twist up here. Another strawberry donut. Oh, damn. As soon as, as soon as I make one there. I mean, it's a good, it's a good thing. Oh, damn it. I gave it to the wrong person. That, that person's been waiting for so long and I just gave it to the other. Huh. Go team. Go team table needs to be cleaned up. Listen, I'm going as fast as I can, okay? Ah, uh, pick recipe, twist, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. As that one guy from StarCraft says. Go, go, go. 
Man, I miss OG StarCraft. I haven't actually played StarCraft 2, and I don't know why when I was like such a big fan of the regular StarCraft as like a kid. A new order placed for this other strawberry donut. Man, these strawberry donuts are really moving. Hey, we made it over 25 bucks! That means there's like stuff that we could potentially uh, make for people. That one firewood lasted almost all day. All my displays are empty. needing to be watered. That makes sense. The strawberries have really been put through it today. They have really been put through it. Another twist in there just to ease my morning tomorrow. They can buy stale leftover display food. The table needs to be cleaned up. Here we go clean that up. Let me go water something. day. We earned about the same amount as last time, though. 15 buckaroodles. And, yep, two men, two, something else that's been on the store too often. Is it the cookie? It's the cookie. We can replace the cookie with, um, this croissant? Yeah, this croissant, indeed. It's good for us. Um, let's see, so I have 30 bucks. Another display counter sounds like a lot, and it's 25 bucks. 210. New hats, hats and aprons sounds neat, but I don't. Upgrade your cat cafe? Oh my gosh. What is this final one? Assistant. Ooh. Ah, oh, that's awesome, but that's so far down. Oh, another two seats. Okay. A coffee machine. Oh. What's over here? A freezer to prepare frozen desserts. An animal brush to keep the animals clean. A magic broom that cleans spills automatically. Quick sprint. And another oven upgrade. Whip. To burn pastries more slowly. And then we have grapevine, rail cart, a beehive for honey, an apple tree, a lemon tree, a sprinkler to auto water the plants and a carrot. I kind of like want to save up for something that would help me a lot, like the kitchen mover. Or maybe maybe we can just save up for the second onion, uh, onion for the second oven. Oh. Or the rail cart. The rail cart is nice and it's not it's not that expensive. Second oven, rail cart. Second oven. Real car. I'm gonna go with a second oven. Well, no. I'm gonna wait. I gotta wait either way. I gotta wait to think about it. So let's wait until we have more money and then we'll think about it more. Who wouldn't give me money for sweets? I'd imagine, oh, I'd imagine the assistant would help me make foods, but that's kind of a good question. I wonder how they programmed the assistant to function. We probably won't find out this stream. Somebody's already ordering. What's up? You want some candy? Must have seen the wrapped candies and correctly thought those are stale. There you go. I'll make um. I'll make one of these just at, in case, just in just as preparation, because I'm sure somebody will eventually want one of these, and I will eventually. Need to restock. What would you like? Aha! It is as I thought! I am a fortune teller. Alright, let's go for the chocolate croissant now. 
Surely someone will order the chocolate croissants. They're not, they're not usually all that popular. Surely someone will do it. What's up? Chocolate croissant, hell yeah! Look at this telepathy, or do they do they magically want whatever you've got cooking? Is, is it like they can smell it? Ooh, recipe. Oh. Oh, chocolate strawberry! All right, again, since I'm trying not to buy too many new ingredients and waste all my money on new ingredients right now, I think we're gonna have to go for the, for the uh, chocolate strawberry. Because it's right there, and I can definitely make that. with our current ingredients. This is not a very diverse cafe in terms of flavors. Lunch rush is starting, what do you want? Candy? Honestly, whenever the candy is on the menu, it's kind of nice, even though it doesn't make me much money, it's nice just to get people out the door, you know what I mean? You also want candy. Damn, I really enticed y'all with that candy. Eggs, but I do love eggs Benedict. Like, breakfast pastries are my jam. I love, I love me some of that. Everybody wants baked goods on their lunch rush. Damn it. You took them all. <sighs> More candy because it's quick. It is swift and it is better to sell something than nothing. Even if that something is not worth very much. All right, chocolate croissant. my god, why would you spawn that right in front of me? I was doing a great job, and then you went and did something like that. A foolish fool. Eh. Chocolate croissant. That order number one. That firewood better not go out right before that donut gets done. Your strawberry donut. Here's your clean thing. <sighs> you knew this would make you hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I I did too. Oh man, with melted cheese mix. Man, this is this is making me hungry too. I'm pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. To be fair, I ate a very early breakfast today for me. Man, um, I do not know exactly how to explain what an eggs benedict is, is, to be honest. I'm not the right person. Let me Google it. Ah, oh, we achieved a hundred. I guess we must have made a hundred total buckaroonies because we got an achievement for a hundred eggs benedict. I'm sure there's some kind of actual explanation. Yeah, hollandaise sauce. Okay, a common American or brunch dish. Two halves of an English muffin, each topped with Canadian bacon, a poached egg, and hollandaise sauce. It's pretty good. Sparta! Thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here. Oh, Zek, Zek basically got there before me. It is a breakfast biscuit, and who doesn't love a breakfast biscuit? Hey, Um, all right, so I gotta take some recipe that's been on the menu too often off. Is it the strawberry? No, it's the candy. It's both. 
We'll put the pretzel back on. It's been so long since we've been able to give people these pretzels. And we'll give them the chocolate strawberry. It's a whole new item. They don't have a lot of variety? What are you talking about? This is a ton of variety. I don't know. You're wrong, so. All right, still not enough for the for the new oven. I'd imagine, I'm, I wonder how much the new oven, I'm gonna do play this next day really thinking about how much a new oven is actually gonna help us. Oh yeah, snack time! What is the difference between Canadian bacon and American bacon? I think I prefer Canadian bacon, but that's not saying much because I do not like bacon. Thickness? Oh, American is crispy. That's exactly the part of the bacon that I don't like. That and I also, I just like generally don't like smoky flavors. It's just, it doesn't taste good to me. Canadian bacon was ham. So it's just thicker strips of ham. All right, let's get something made. Let's, let's make us a pretzel. These pretzels always go real fast. Let's just get a pretzel going just in case. What would you like, my friend? A pretzel, that's literally, yes, uh-huh, mm -hmm. Well, let me get a second pretzel started because you never know who will be next. Here you are, pretzel friend. Enjoy your lurk, Mysterio. You love the most crispy bacon. One of the reasons we were great roommates, Kate. Damn it. All right, chocolate croissant it is. Hopefully that pretzel doesn't go stale over there. Did I clean up? I didn't, I should. Blech. Crispy bacon. Blech. Canadian bacon is an American term. It's just to cut up the back. Does it taste any different? Would you like a? No, you would not like that. Oh, chocolate covered strawberries are a terrible idea because I have to run so far. Get all the bits. Then I don't have to bake it, right? Yeah, it would be weird if I baked this. Here you are. It's not even the lunch rush yet, it's just morning. Now it's the lunch rush, oh great. Let me get a pretzel in the oven. It's the lunch rush. I need to clean up both tables. There we go. Out of water, these plants so that I keep getting ingredients. All right, pretzel for the empty window displays. What do you want? You want a chocolate croissant? You want a chocolate Lacroix? Lacroix. It's just fried ham, isn't it? All all bacon's just fried ham, though. There's nothing special about bacon, despite it's like weirdly mythological uh, ability. In America, Choco La Lacroix. I don't like Lacroix, and I love sparkling water. But you know what? I'm a purist. I like regular sparkling water. I don't need no fancy sparkling water. I'm not fancy. I don't need no flavored. Sparkling water, I just want. Oh, ovens out of firewood during the lunch rush. All right, you also want a croissant. You're gonna clean this up. <laughs> ovens out of firewood, ovens out of firewood, ovens out of firewood. All right, ovens got firewood. And we go over here with you. You go over here. This recipe go. This recipe go. This recipe go. You. Go. Go. 
pretzel. Damn it, another chocolate croissant. All right, well, I got a, I got a pretzel on the way. What happens if I put this? Oh, I've had a pretzel here this whole time all day! Kara! Kara, why? Way! Oh my gosh, this day seemed way more busy to me. This day seemed way busier than the other days. I'm good? Ham isn't usually from the back? Oh, Zach, Zach was talking to me, Fuzzborn. Don't worry about it. You're good. I know a table needs to be cleaned up. Everything needs to be cleaned up right now. I'm doing my best. My plants need to be watered. Somebody's been waiting on their food for like 10 years. Nobody ever told me running a bakery would be so stressful. Uh, that's a lie. Literally everybody's told me that running a bakery would be stressful. bucks the amount of money we're making is going slightly up per day that's a good sign maybe eventually we'll get to like a really healthy amount of of uh, food all right gotta gotta redo the menu again too much chocolate croissant for everyone so let's put the baguettes back on not a lot of variety. Okay, no baguette. Let's go for cookie. There we go. Variety again. And... Oh, we're so close to getting the next oven. Laughs having worked in a restaurant. Very, very fair. Very fair. Ooh, pasta? No, that makes me hungry. <laughs> we're definitely making more. Good, good. Hey, Dandy Dan. How you been? That's a really cute emote. Whose is that? Incon? That's a really cute emote. Next day. Next day, next day, next day. I'm doing all this just to, just out of the kindness of my own heart to help a ghost. All right, yeah, we're good to, st we're good to just open the bakery. I think, I think the second oven will be helpful. I think I will go for the second oven first. Um, cause I think it'd be nice, like I can just, you know, I have this table now. I should utilize this table more often to help me just prep things ahead of time, probably. I'll go over here and make a chocolate covered strawberry cause that will definitely stay like all day. Just cocoa beans and strawberry, no sugar added, so. It's too bitter for you. I don't know. Don't at me. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Somebody did, did buy a pastry. That's great. Good. I'm glad you have, you have your water back. And I'm assuming you also hopefully have uh, power back to... Well, you're, you're talking on here. I doubt you would be watching a stream if you were on your like your phone's last leg of battery. <laughs> I I'm glad I'm glad that you made it through okay. That honestly like yeah. Such a terrifying situation. LOL smite players. Overcooked 2 is the most realistic cooking oh no Oh no, that's so alarming. What do you want? You want another cookie? Everybody wants cookies today. Cookies are a popular menu item today. Pretzel going. 
since the lunch rush is gonna be starting. Best to have stuff on standby for the team. Alright, what do you want? What do you want? Damn it, literally this the exact thing that I just got rid of. I knew that would happen, but I did it anyway. Boldly. Like a fool. At least a chocolate-covered strawberry I don't need to cook. Here you go. You watch the wipe, wipe this. All right, let's get more uh, pretzel. Let's get more pretzels. I know the window displays are empty. I'm a little busy right now trying to fill them up, if you don't mind. The table needs to be cleaned. up we're keeping up cookie just don't clean the floor is the solution the solution is just to avoid all obstacles on the floor does this have multiplayer i don't i don't think it does i don't think it does i can see why you're thinking about that though that would be pretty fun to play multiplayer you didn't realize how quickly time goes in this game yeah it does seem to go pretty quickly Oh my god, so many cookies! Everybody wants a cookie! Not that I'm complaining. Come try my legendary cookies. An interesting thing that I've noticed about this game is that over time, the amount of money that you make from your recipes goes up. So the more you make recipes, the more money you'll make from them. So even if you don't improve at all in any other way, you'll slowly earn more money over time. I'm wonder I'm kind of wondering what the like ramp for this game is in terms of how much money you make and whether it is like a nice feeling ramp or whether it's like a lot. Get some pretzels in there. Ah! Ooh, level up! Blueberry bagel, cherry jelly. Or eggs benedict. Um, it's more likely that I'm gonna get the cherry before I'm gonna get the eggs benedict, so I'll go with that one even if I don't know how to make it yet. Because I'm still gonna get that second oven, okay? I know a table needs to be cleaned up. Your face table needs to be cleaned up, in fact. and 16 cents this would be good on switch for multiplayer yeah yeah those trees really do die fast but cara e rest cara rant bakar but like bakari rest cara rant oh got it rest cara rant man english is so hard because i'm just like i because i think because like i'm a native german speaker i default to Ah, uh, to like wanting to say ahs in a lot of my words and then I just get con like when I read words in English I like my brain like fritzes and like I have to I just like have to pick a vowel and I, I like don't know what my brain is doing because I'm always just like ah ah is the default for me the recipe has been on for too long is it chocolate strawberry no is it the is it this has has the strawberry been on for too long the strawberry's been on for too long. All right, well then let's put on um, the donut. Okay, the donut and the candy. Ooh, the candy's a level B now. I guess we've sold a lot of these candies. I've gotten real good at candy. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations, Robo. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, good luck to you too, Fuzzborn. Oh, we're so close to we're so close to getting this cart thing. But it's okay, I'll go for I'll go for the second oven. A second oven! Finally, this is starting to look like a proper kitchen again. 
Now, we're just missing the last oven, some more furniture, upgrades, and... Oh, there's still so much to do, Kara. Let's get back to work. At least it'll be a lot easier to run the bakery now that you can bake two pastries at once. That's what you say? Ooh, oh, an increase in speed is only 65 buckaroonies, too. That's really nice. Oh, I can get eggs pretty quick. I can get cherries pretty quick, too. I might I might buy cherries soon. We'll see. We'll see. A bake stress. You have to really blend them together so that people know what you're saying. Yeah, it can just, like, it just, it just, in my head, it just confuses me. I left something on there and I forgot about. All right, come on in. The ghost looks like a floating cupcake. Yeah, the ghost is so cute, honestly. A lot about this game's designs are just adorable. Oh my gosh, somebody's already here and ordering. I can wait for them to order. I'll finish up this strawberry donut. All right, what do you want? Strawberry donut, perfect. I'll make another strawberry donut then. They're hard to make and you never know. Another strawberry donut, let's make a chocolate cookie. This game is very, very cute. It's very, it's the perfect kind of game for the Switch, I feel like. Run, 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 run. Hello, who, do you, no one, nobody wanted it. Here we go, all right. Crushing it. What do you want? You want chocolate chip cookie? That's perfect. Guess what is freshly baked out of this oven? My dear? Chocolate chip cookie five you. Oh, thank you for the shout outs. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for a second until I can more coherently look at the chat when I'm not juggling 200 different things. I know a table needs to be cleaned up, stop telling me what to do. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a, whoops, not that. I'm gonna make a strawberry donut then. Just gotta get going, I need more firewood, I need to clean up the table. It's the lunch rush! Everything is happening at once! Go, go! Go, get marshmallow twist, marshmallow twist, go. Go, go, go. Here's your marshmallow twist. Here's your clean over here. This is gonna be clean too. Eh. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. You go up, you, no, you, you go up here, you go up here. Uh, you go up here. Go down here. Chocolate chip cookie. Cookie, 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 cookie. There literally is fire. Gosh. I used to I used to work as a um, as a burger flipper basically. I used to work at a certain station in my college as far as cooking goes, and it basically meant that I was in charge of making burgers and french fries. And I only worked lunch rush. <laughs> that was the only time that I worked. It was just lunch rush three times a week, I think. Here you go. All right, it's strawberry, 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 strawberry. A little bit more of a way to specialize your bakery. Yeah, I, I feel that. I see, I see that. I think I think that makes sense. This is it's the kind of thing where I'm like, I would love to see this game expanded, but also knowing that this is the work of just one person, um, I think with that tempering my expectation, I'm like, it's it's fine that there's not as much to do. Like this is just one person who, uh, from from everything that I can tell, is making this off of 
uh, their own budget because they didn't use a publisher and they didn't use a development studio, so they're just using their own money to make this game. And that presumably would be very expensive as a developer my sense, um, my, myself, unless they've gotten like all the assets pre-prepared or something. Um, but yeah, it would be really nice if there was a lot of ways to customize the bakery. But I'm also really having a fun time with this. Oh look, anxiety simulator. Ah, oh, damn it, really, I just. It has a big update coming this spring, really. That's very exciting. Didn't it, it just released, didn't it? I believe it just released. Yeah. In game Mia has so many more spoons than real life Mia does. This is what I'd like to be in real life. Fantasy life simulator. <sighs> We're good. Last Thursday, yeah. So it also just released. So I'm hopeful. I think that honestly, this is a for like a one person team, this is a really polished game. There's a lot to it. It doesn't feel like anything is lacking just yet. I'm again, I'm still curious about how pro how the progression will work because when it comes to games like this that I usually really love, the progression is what can usually get me. Like you play for like usually it's end game progression gets really rough. Like I'm thinking of like Graveyard Keeper which has really had really rough uh, end of game progression, and I've heard it's gotten a bit better. Um, but yeah, let me catch up on the chat. <laughs> oh, you happen to get what I have? Oh, that's good. Did you use the Amazon blacksmith link? Because then I would get a cut. <laughs> if anybody wants the equipment that I have, use the Amazon blacksmith link in the, in the down and on the chat if you're on mobile. You can see my equipment and purchase it yourself. Um, yes, uh, uh, Mysterio, thank you for shouting out both Ruby and Marky Chin. Ruby, <laughs> I, I feel like you guys are all already know Ruby very well. Ruby is just one of my favorite people and is, don't you have, you're, you're recording your podcast tomorrow again, right, Ruby? So I, I believe tomorrow is another episode of Breakfast at Ruby's, and that usually happens during the daytime. So if you need something to listen to while you're at work, I highly recommend checking out Breakfast at Ruby's, which they'll be recording live tomorrow. And Marky Chin as well, another wonderful, very, very, very cozy streamer uh, to follow. So if you're looking for more cozy streamers, both these people are great choices. <laughs> um, you're definitely going to look into this game. Good. <laughs> Good. There literally is fire, too. Uh, you've never played a game with that type of combat, but it's pretty fun. I'm very excited for Triangle Strategy. I still haven't played it yet. It's on my list. I still, I think I still want to stream it. Um, we'll see. We're kind of like, I missed a whole month of playing games, so now we're like running up the list of all the things I wanted to play. <laughs> it's like in real life. Customers refuse to leave no matter the time. Very fair. Enjoy your lurk! Marky Chin. The zombie extension, it's its far far less grinding. Yeah. At some point, I need to go in and I need to beat that game because I, li I was literally like 80% of the way through to the final, to on the literal last quest, and I was like, this is taking too long. I'm done. Sunken cost fallacy. So. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's put in... Um baguette it's been a while since we've had our friendly old baguette i've heard ruby is it actually difficult i've heard that the demo is actually difficult that's one of the reasons why i'm like i'm not sure because i don't know how long it is and i've also heard that people like lose a lot in it and have to replay it so that's kind of why i'm not sure if i if i want to stream it looks dope but you'll afraid you'll be bad at it we're all each other's favorite people i mean it, i'm i'm not gonna lie it's pretty nice it's pretty nice to be in a spot where I've like got colleagues and friends on who are who are streamers on Twitch who like 
I like them and their content. It's awesome. <laughs> like, it's awesome. It's great. I love, I love plugging people that I can genuinely recommend. Like, it's great. It's a great time. I'm having a great time out here. Um, crystal water. Improve water. Keep your plants watered for longer. Now that would be helpful. Um, should I get rid of... There's two easy things. Maybe I'll get rid of the marshmallow twist because I just bought the cherries. So now we can make cherry jelly. Oh, but they're mad at me that there's not a lot of variety. Okay, maybe I'll get rid of the baguette again and then I'll put the candy back in. Is that still not a lot of variety? Well, I don't know what you want then. Anyways. <laughs> Cheers, Kate. But it's very, very long. Got it. I don't know what they mean by variety in this game. Hey, boys to Max, hi. It has so much lore. I heard that the demo basically starts in the middle of, probably not in the middle of the game. Probably like when they say the demo starts in the middle of the game, probably what they mean is the demo starts just past the tutorial. So that's probably where the demo starts. And so it's like somewhere a little bit after the plot starts. So you're kind of like thrown in there. Oh yeah, a lot of lore. Not a lot of variety until I get more slots, right? But I don't even know. Hang on. How do I know? How do I? It just says that it's locked. But I haven't seen anything here about getting more slots. So I wonder if I just have to like level up and that'll give me more slots maybe. All right. Next day. Confirm. I also really hope it's good. I've told you guys my theory about all the project games is that um, Square is testing... Because, you know, for a long time, well, I guess maybe we might not know. For a long time, when we were youths, um, basically when Final Fantasy started to transition out of turn-based strategy games and, like, tactics games, there were other I'll tactics games, you. but a lot of people just decided that that meant that they were no longer viable for people to play. Uh, for, for, like, people to create. They were no longer profitable. People thought, like, real-time action is where it's at. That's what the people want. That's what we'll give them. And they just stopped making real-time strategy games. And so Octopath and Bravely Default, I feel like, were tests of, like, are these styles of games still popular? And I think that this project is a similar test to see is the, like, Final Fantasy Tactics style of game still popular? Can we make a profit off of it? So I... I hope it does really well, even if it ends up not being that great. <laughs> because then it would mean that they would be, like, more people would be willing to, to invest in that kind of gameplay again. To, like, a really big budget. We've had, we've had uh, lots of indie devs making these kinds of games out here. Serving our needs, but, um, for AAA dev. Whoa. Strawberry donut, strawberry donut, strawberry donut, strawberry donut. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like it's like they're like straddling the line, which I'm I'm honestly I'm fine with. As one of the people who is the older fan who misses who misses the old stuff, I'm like, yes, please, please hand me more of this. Run, 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 run. Table two, here you go. Run, 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 run. Table one. Here you go. Um, I'll get, not this, I'll get the strawberry donut going. We're, we're, we're building up to the lunch rush. Oh, I gotta water everything. Table needs to be cleaned up. Where'd my strawberry go? Table needs to be cleaned. Table is cleaned. Where did my- I thought I picked up a strawberry. Oh, did I drop it? It's because the plant died before I could take it out of the room. I did indeed sell a pastry. I know the window displays are empty, okay? It's a really busy day. What happened to that strawberry? Hey, Dawn! Dawn, if they- you're right, 29 months is a lot. Thank you for resubscribing and as an Alacritus Alchemist too. I appreciate that. Okay, gotta keep up with the lunch rush. Mm, gotta get through this. Mm, gotta get through this. I wonder if like my shop is starting to become known for these marshmallow twists because like 
people are really wanting them, you know? And I also put them out on the window all the time, which is probably why people want them so much. Here you go. All right. Grab you. Eh. Here you go. Here you go. Get another one of you. I certainly am gonna have like a lot, like I could just specialize in marshmallow twists and I'm sure eventually the multiplier will make them worth like a lot of money. I thought at least one person would order the cherry thing, but nobody has thus far. Your day's been yucky, oh. I'm sorry to hear about that, but I hope we can make it at least a nice evening today. That's always, that's always my jam. Let's turn this, turn this car around. Let's turn this day around. Make it somewhat better. Damn, they really, they, I really am known for my marshmallow twists. Okay, that's fine. Cara twists. I mean, to be fair, if I were, if I were, nope, even as me now, I still like the cheap things. Well, I don't like the cheap things. I order the cheap things. There's a big difference. I don't enjoy cheap things usually because I'm a buy nicer, buy twicer. It's my philosophy because it's, I've, I've learned it the hard way. And yet, and yet I'm like, this one's cheaper. I feel the temptation. All right. They were afraid of Atlas's Persona 5. I'd be too. I would be too. I, yes. Gameplay very good, characters fun. Yeah, I, I was, I did not like Octopath Traveler as much as I really wanted to like Octopath Traveler. I enjoyed the gameplay, but after, like, it hit a point and then it was just very repetitive for me. Yeah, I think that, well, this the reason the story wasn't so fleshed out in Octopath Traveler is because of the structure of the game. Since they wanted to make it that you could have any number of people in your party at any time, and they also simultaneously decided not to have any kind of overarching plot, because with eight characters and a bunch of different possible, like eight times eight, 64, almost 64 possible party combinations, actually more because you can have parties of four, three, two, one. Like you can have a party of one up to two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then fully eight. So it's actually like eight exponential. So if you were have if you were trying to write a main story and you and you had to create a different a dif different story dialogue for each different character that you started out as along with different story dialogue depending on who is in your party where you're at in their stories who they're with in their party like they just built a game that was on principle impossible to really create a satisfying main story that wasn't just going to be like the weirdest most cardboard cutout thing possible so the main story in octopath traveler is definitely its biggest flaw and they and they wedged themselves into that hole by how they designed having the multiple characters that's why most games don't do that which is fair because Octopath Traveler, it was an experimental game. They were trying out new things. And I think that they figured out that like the gameplay was solid, but the story really genuinely was lacking. And I bet, I honestly bet that if you look at the graphs of like metrics for when people stop playing that game, people, a lot of people play that game for like a while and then like sharply drop off probably all around the same time because everybody probably drops off when like the stories that they're most interested in are finished and when the gameplay starts to get stale and that's when the majority of people would drop off. Um, just a little bit of Project Octopath Traveler narrative design discussion for you, which now would be a great time to mention that I do narrative design analyses over on my Patreon for only $2 a month. 
So if that's a thing that you're interested in, there's videos up there right now about Final Fantasy VII R, Final Fantasy VIII, and Persona V Royal. Um, and they're like long videos. The Final Fantasy VIII video is two hours long. <laughs> they're long videos, in-depth discussions. So if you enjoy talks about game design and narrative design and writing and learning how to write, check out my Patreon, please. All right, moving on. <laughs> yes, Patreon! <laughs> um, no overarching, yeah, and no weaving together. Brave, Bravely Default 1, yeah, was really good. I, I really did like Bravely Default 1. Um, still haven't even been able to get into Bravely Default 2. At some point, mm, at some point, what? I'll take a whole year off and catch up on every game that I've ever missed. That's the dream, isn't it? All right. Let's put a chocolate covered strawberry up and... Pretzel? Pretzel! Hell yeah. The squirrel hunting, though. If they do a sequel, they need to figure out the character ratio so they can balance choose your story elements with actual plot. Yeah, I, honestly, I kind of, like, I'm suspicious that, like, one of the things they maybe want to... Because, like, it's not that having a main story like that for Octopath Traveler is impossible. It's that it is so expensive. So I'm wondering if they would ever give that a try. It's like, it's like why I was not surprised. Uh, Project Triangle Strategy looks like it's going to have a lot of different characters too who are going to have more, more or less impact on the plot, but it looks like there's four, like a handful of ma main characters who like have a solid plot and like they're the plot and that's how it is. So I, I was not at all surprised to see Triangle Strategy went with like, nope, we're actually, we're telling a, we're telling a story. This is a spiritual sequel to Final Fantasy Tactics. We're, we're not going to do the whole million characters situation. Y you can do it. You just need the budget. And honestly, most, most game companies do not want to spend that amount of money on narrative, unfortunately. <laughs> you feel like I could do it? <laughs> oh, because I played all of Persona 5 in like one week. But I didn't beat it because why did they make the main boss of Persona 5 Royal so fucking annoying to fight? I can't even with that boss it's so so anyways my ps5 has literally been frozen in time for like two full months literally still on the boss of persona 5 royal because i was just like maybe someone else will want to like maybe i can get zek to beat this boss for me because i'm literally not going to bother with this it's too fresh it's it's like, you, you know how, like, at, at the end of some RPGs, they really want you to have, like, a several hours long, like, epic fight with the boss? And that's fine and everything, but, like, I have things to do with my time, and I need to conserve spoons. I don't have time to spend three straight hours trying to beat your fucking boss, okay? That's just me. That's just me. I already brought the difficulty down to easy, and it didn't work, so I don't even know how I'm gonna get out of that. <laughs> What, Kate? <laughs> it's true. It does have branching paths depending on the story you make. Yeah, Octopath Traveler does. Um, a lot a lot easier branching paths, though, because they only have to do... If, if I'm remembering correctly, anyways, I think that they only have to do with, like, one character's story or random events that happen. And so, like, you can isolate that to, like, any character who interacts with this is going to have the same choices. And also, since it's an it's a branching path within one person's story, it's a lot less variable and you don't necessarily have to customize it depending on which player you started out as. Although you can. Um, but yeah. You didn't know the boss is this concerned. There's... There's... Okay. I Just listen. Blanket warning. This is not a spoiler, but blanket warning about Persona 5 Royal... There's a boss that they changed and made it literally, like, they made it, they made it almost impossible to beat. Um, like, just during the story. It apparently was a really easy boss in regular Persona 5, and then they made it actually, like, impossible to beat to the point that when I was online, like, look, like, I was like, why can't I beat this boss? Am I underleveled? Like, I'm overleveled by 10 levels. Why can't I beat this boss? And I was finding people say that, like, yeah, I'm 20 levels leveled up and I still can't beat this boss. Somebody was like, I spent five hours on this boss and I couldn't do it. The, basically, the consensus was 
when you hit that boss in Persona 5 Royal, just swap over to easy mode and then go back up to normal when you're done because it's literally that unfair of a fight. It is, it is bad. <laughs> it is, it was a bad choice. They were, they wanted to fix the fact that the boss was too easy in the first game and they made it basically impossible to beat. So <laughs> just as a heads up, when you, if you're playing Persona 5 Royal and you run into that, just remember my words and be like, all right, I'll go easy on myself and just go on to easy. Don't waste the number of hours that I wasted. <laughs> um. But I, the final boss is probably not that concerning for other people. I just, I don't know. I could, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Both of, both of these two bosses that I'm talking about that are really, that I'm really struggling with, they did the same mechanic. And again, this isn't very, this isn't really a spoiler, but they did the same mechanic where you have to kill things within two turns and you have to kill all of the things within the two turns or else it starts over and the boss full heals. Like both of them did that. Both of them did that. They give you two turns to try to kill everything and then they make it so that you can't baton pass. And you're like, why would you do this? Why would this is not it? Who like what? I don't know. I just like, what was the, what was the, the brain process behind? I just, it's fine. But I was upset. <laughs> oh, really? He also wasn't that easy in OG. Girl, I don't even know then. Is this the original boss of P5? Uh, different boss. Yeah. So I've beaten the like actual main game of Persona 5, but I haven't beaten the royal part of the boss. No baton pass is really rude. <laughs> uh, they took a boss who's like the earlier boss, not the final boss. I won't say anything else about the final boss so as not to spoil, but they took a boss that like in the original game was kind of designed for baton, baton pass and then they just took baton pass away from you and then were like, that'll be fun. And I'm like, what, what? No, no. Yeah. Hey, Frank. I know. Why would they block the baton pass? Right? But they do. They do it. I just like, I literally was like so angry that night. I was losing. I was losing it that night. You have, you guys have no idea. It was supposed to be my vacation. It was like in the middle of the week. I had nothing to do. I was so relaxed. And then I started playing that round and I lost it. It took me like four or five hours or something before I finally gave up and Googled it and saw everybody being like, oh yeah, this, bo this boss is just unfair. Don't even bother. <laughs> My stubbornness did not help me in that instance. Anyways, pretzels. You do know how competitive I get and I did get very angry. I did get very angry. Well, I really like, I get very angry with mechanics that specifically feel unfair. If the mechanic is fair, I mean like look at Dark Souls. For most of Dark that Dark Souls playthrough, I was actually like relatively calm, excepting those like those two bosses at the end of the game because forget those. But for most of Dark Souls, I was relatively calm. Um, because as long as the game is fair, I don't tend to get that angry. But girl, oh my god, as soon as I personally think the game is being unfair, regardless of whether it is or is not being unfair, <laughs> if I think it is. <laughs> My competitive nature is part of my charm. <laughs> well, we all know that I'm a stickler for good design and I get, I get grumpy. <laughs> I get grumpy about design choices I don't understand. We all know this about me. <laughs> is beating the boss worth it? I don't know because I haven't actually like gone back to watch to know what the like ending of Persona 5 Royal is. Um, Having played through the royal part of Persona 5 Royal without getting to the final boss, um, it feels like an additional ending. Like they didn't, um, they did, they did like, they did a fine job of integrating it with the original story. But um, it, like, to me, I'm like, okay, we like, we're like, basically, what from what I can tell as a narrative designer, the original game was pretty flawlessly paced, and then they ended up. Um, you know, adding an, an extra portion of the game for Royal. 
and you can like totally tell like you're like wow this game is really paced and then suddenly it's just like and you're like oh something different is, is happening what's going on and then like it the tension the pacing just gets off which I'd imagine if you're playing Persona 5 Royal you wouldn't mind because like you're here for it um, it was just funny to note I don't know how they would have been able to do better because adding extra content to an already finished game with an already well-designed story is pretty difficult um, and then uh, and then I, I also just like the kind of like I guess the uh, themes that are explored in that part I was like um, it, 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 it fits very well into the story and like it's good that they explored it because I think that it's something that like occurs to you while you're playing Persona 5 and then Persona 5 Royal explores that thought which most people would have um, hang on, I'm watching Pumpkin. Just making sure she's not gonna accidentally poop on my bed. Right, time is passing in the game. Hang on. You doing okay, Pumpkin? Okay, yeah, you're doing good. Good, okay, just check it. Sometimes she poops on the bed. She, she's still struggling <laughs> a little bit. Um, lemon cake is great, Frank. I'm really enjoying it. My Twilight Princess button. I think, honestly, if you like Persona 5, you're gonna like Persona 5 Royal. They do a lot of, like, they do a lot of tweaks to the gameplay to make it a lot, um, just, like, a lot more enjoyable and easier to play, and I really enjoyed my time with it. I just personally, personally, I wasn't interested in the additional story bits. I think, I think there's a lot of people who would like the additional story bits. Um, personally, I was like, man. <laughs> but I, I would still recommend it, I think. Enjoy your lurk, SPC. The bakery? Oh my god. Oh, I've been doing a terrible job today. <laughs> well, the bakery has been really enjoyable, but I haven't been a good baker today. How about that, Andy? I was too busy talking about Persona 5. <laughs> um, but yeah, the bakery's been fun. This is a really, really cute and cozy game. Uh, and if you if you like the kind of like dine and dash type of gameplay, then I would like for sure absolutely recommend this. Thanks, Fuzzy. Hey, can we get a shout out for Bad Andy Writes as well? Andy is another Rainbow Arcade uh, teammate, but also one of my writer friends who also plays a lot of narrative based games and likes to discuss them and also does creative writing streams. Very good, enjoyable time. I'd imagine if you like my stream, you would like Andy's. So go check them out. With the combat. Ah, oh, that's fair. I, I really love the combat in Persona to the point that I am just making sure that pumpkin's not gonna poop. Alright, she's just gonna lay down. Um, to the point that I really love the, the what was it, Fire and Shin Megami Tensei Effie Sharp. I love that game. I would literally stream that entire game at some point because it's I just, the combat is so fun for me, but it, you know, not everything's everybody's cup of tea, so I fully get it. Is Onsen Master out yet? Not yet. Not yet. We had a couple of delays, but it's still going. It's still going. Instead, I did, now that there's a couple more people, I will, I will um, re-announce a game for people to look forward to. I'll support um, you. That I'm pretty proud of and excited to be working on. Uh... Oh, Space Valkyries! Hey! Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome back to the fold. Everybody, Space Valkyries uh, is the streamer that I kept mentioning who was streaming this game, and I was, like, lurking in their chat, watching them play. And it's such a cute game. It made me, made me like, convinced that I was like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to do a stream of this in Space Valkyries uh, stream. Um, but, but one of the things that I wanted to announce... Um, is... Oh, and thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back to the fold. <laughs> I wanted to announce this again. So some of you who were here earlier already saw it, but um, 
I'm uh, I can actually announce now that I'm going to be working with a nonprofit organization and an amazing team of game developers to make a game that is about raising awareness of the impacts of systemic racism on COVID-19 and like edu educating essentially about that while also still being fun. So it's like a really interesting project uh, and I'm really jazzed about it. So just, just putting that out there and letting y'all know that that's a thing. Uh, uh, thanks Val. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was like, when, when I was, when I like got the opportunity, I was like, oh, I'm stoked. <laughs> I was very excited about it. All right, let's see what we can do here. I think we've had the chocolate strawberry in here for a while and probably the cherry jelly in here. So I think we can, uh, hmm. we can add, ooh, it's been a while since the sweet roll. Oh, and it's been a while since our cookie. We can add the cookie. We can add the cookie in. Hey, Rainbow Dragon! Pretty much, print aside when you, all the way, the story is awesome, characters are awesome. Uh, yeah, yes. Tokyo Mirage Sessions, you haven't gotten very far. Fully understand, not super into the story or characters of Tokyo Mirage Sessions. If you like anime a lot, you would be, probably. If you really like, um... anime tropes it's like a really tropey like it's kind of like a tongue-in-cheek extremely tropey game so if you're into that kind of like tongue-in-cheek tropey I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's not like tongue-in-cheek enough because I really love tongue-in-cheek things that are kind of like parodies uh, like I really love that and it's not that it's not it's not strong enough to be a parody it mostly plays things straight but if you like the kind of like tropey slice of life then Fire, em uh, uh, Fire Emblem Mirage, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Shin Megami Tensei, F.E. Sharp, whatever, is a solid choice, I would say. I'm going for the speed boost next. Uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which is kind of a, kind of Persona 5. It's Shin Megami Tensei, which is similar. Why you like it and also why you dislike it? I understand what you mean by that. Yeah, I understand what you mean by that. There's a lot in that game. There's like one character from that game that I love because he's just like the most like anime boy, like, oh, I'm cool, like different colored eyes. Like he's got all the things. He's got like, like cool hair. He's, he's basically got all the tropes. He likes tomatoes. He's got all the anime tropes of being the cool bad boy. And I love him because he's so over the top. It's great. Um, and then a lot of other people, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. You're weak for the heterochromia, not even gonna lie. I think it can be, it can be, it can be used well, um, I think. But I also think it's pretty hard to use it well. Alright. The best one. Opening up. Mm, yeah, there was a lot of that. Yeah, I yes, I feel that. I like bad boys. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm you know me. Actually, like that's not even like a hundred percent wrong because I do love yandere's. I love writing yandere's and I love reading yandere routes for the same reason that like I love all of the shows that I love the most. Like it's the same reason that I watch K dramas. I love seeing stories go to the, like, go, like, falls to the wall. Like, go to, just to the extreme. Just take you places you never expected to be taken. So I, I like, like, yandere archetypes, but I don't actually like bad boy archetypes in games. I um, am lucky to have outgrown that at this point. I did like them a lot when I was younger. Now I look for nice people or interesting people in my anime. Okay. Yay, level up! We got, ooh, honey taffy? That's awesome, but honey is very far away from us. The eggs benedict is the least far away, so here we go. Oh, everybody's wanting cookies today. Everybody wants a cookie. 
You're just teasing me. That's fair. I mean, I used to, not even used to, I write visual novels as part of my living. Um, and that's a lot of romance troops. So I have like very strong opinions on a lot of romance troops because it, like I used to, I used to write them and think about them a lot very deeply. <laughs> so I have very, well, I also just have very decided opinions about everything. That's just my personality. So I don't know who I'm trying to fool here. It's just visual novels that I'm really strong about. Hee <laughs> hee. Honey Taffy sounds awesome. More ghosts should wear aprons to be approachable. I know the window displays are empty. Give me a second. There's a lot of things I need to do, okay? Oh dang, I think she left unhappy. I don't think I was able to get her her order in time. That's the first time that's happened. Man, they really did give me two ovens and I like can barely fill up both ovens to be honest with you. I'm like having a hard time getting both ovens going. Go, 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 put it on, put it on. What are you doing? Put it on. Thank you. Girl, it's the lunch rush. Get it together, get your head in the game, Kara. This is a bakery, this is no time. This is no time to sit around and relax. What do you think this is? The library? Busy, 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 busy. Okay, we got another person coming. Go, 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 go. No, not the cherry. Okay. I feel like I always gotta leave some candy on my menus. Candy is very helpful. I don't think I earned a lot of money today. I don't think that was my most efficient work day. I can get pretty, pretty fast paced. You're, you're right. The story has to be captivating for you to invest in it. You should try some of my visual novels. Wink. I haven't played Nino Kuni yet. I have it. Somebody bought it for me a long time ago because I've wanted to play it. And um, I've mentioned this in the Discord, but. Um, one of the difficulties with me getting through my backlog is that um, when I don't have spoons, it's actually really hard to play games. Like there's certain kinds of games that I can play on no spoons. Like Kingdom New Lands is one. This could be what this this probably would be one if it was on the Switch, so I could lay down while I was playing it. But generally speaking, anything that like requires more thinking capabilities, I can't really play when I don't have spoons. So. It means that I can only really play games that I want to play to get through on stream or when I have spoons in the evenings, which like usually doesn't happen on work days because I use up all my spoons working. So I'm, I am getting through my backlog. Don't get me wrong, I'm getting there. Um, well, I'm adding more things to it. I'm playing games on my backlog. Eventually I'll play Nino Kuni because I really, really, really want to. I know I would love it. our trusty friend the marshmallow twist up there and then we'll move on you feel that 
You start streaming, you'll stream my visual novels? Good luck. <laughs> if you're gonna stream to be with you on stream, just be prepared. Be prepared. Because that game comes at you fast. It comes at you hard. <laughs> it's the same case with that, I'm sorry. I really do, I really do appreciate that everybody sent me all these cool games that I really want to play. So this is one of the good things about me learning how to take breaks um, working, is that now I actually have time on the weekends to play games, whereas like for the last uh, five years or whatever, I haven't really had time off because I would just spend all my spoons on working and then, and then pass out. So now that I'm actually taking time off and like resting, there's hope. <laughs> I sold a pastry already, all right. Oh, so it's actually better? I'll take it. You like the colors in this game? Yeah, they're really cute. Oh, you were thinking about me while playing it? Oh, that's so cute. Which visual novel was it? I wonder if I know it. Rest? Are you more familiar with rest yet, Frank? You got sucked back into Minecraft? Oh no, I feel so bad. I feel so bad about that, how awful. Are you dolling up the, I mean, it's, it's fine if you're playing on a different server, but are you playing on the fold server? Tell me what this word rest means. It means being kind to your body and loving yourself, more or less. Man, why did I even get that long-lasting firewood? Is it truly long-lasting? Running and running, 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 running. Damn this dough. Come on, it's the lunch rest. Come on. Another chocolate chip cookie. Oh, come on. Slightly a workout for my fingers as well. Maybe I need to have my fingers like do more exercise if I'm like woof holding down the shift button to sprint though. It's because I usually I prefer to play with controllers. Okay, we're doing good. We're 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 barely keeping up, but we're keeping up. Very inconvenient spots for these dough balls to pop up. Oop, hello.
Long firewood doubles the burning time. Yeah. Doubles, okay. I wanted it to make it last the whole day. Hmm. Send me a recommendation on VNs. Ooh, man, I have a ton of them to recommend. Um, there's, there's a lot, there's a solid chunk of visual novels on the Archive channel, and the majority of them I would recommend. There's one that, um, it's, it's, I, I, I guess it counts as a, as a visual novel that not a lot of people have played, and it's a great one. It's actually, like, a really, really great one to stream as well. I would say, let me, let me see if I can f remember what the, it's called Eliza. It's called Eliza, and it's about a woman who creates an app that functions as a therapist and starts getting used to replace uh, therapists. And it's about, like, it's about, I guess, what direction she wants to take in life. And it's really, 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 really good. It's so good. If you like narrative games and you have not checked out Eliza, please, 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 please do yourself a favor and check it out. It's so good. Um, break time? Um, almost. I'm starting to smell some food. <laughs> I'm starting to smell some food, so probably when the food is done, I'll take a brief break so I can chow down on it. Will you cry if you play it? Um, it's not an inherently crying game, but, like, like depending on your, the choices you make, I think there's some sad things that could happen, so, yeah, potentially. You actually have a surprise for people when they get on? So when I decided my body can't play anymore. Oh, Vampire the Masquerade. I've heard of that, but I haven't actually played it yet. Um, did I ever try cook served, cook served delicious? Ooh. I haven't, but it does sound like the kind of game that I would like. Getting used to the chaos? Definitely. Ah, oh, yes, please. Speed, give me that speed perk, please. Yes, thank you. I love it. How much better. Much better. Oh, this is great. Open. Oh, I forgot to change the menu. Oh, Kara. Oh, Kara, what are you doing? Well, they'll have the same menu as the day before. My quota. My quote F75. Hey, we're still we're still gunning for it. I'm still hoping. I've got all my goals set up. I want a hundred patrons this year. I want to reach a thousand subscribers on the archive channel, which has like almost 400 vods on it. So there's a lot of games for people to check out. Uh, playthroughs, if if you haven't yet, a lot of a lot of them to check out. Um, and partner on Twitch. Those are my goals for this year. So if y'all want to help me manifest them into being, I'm not going to say no. Eliza the innkeeper. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookie. I have one right here waiting for you, my dear. Which let me uh, real quick. Boop, 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 boop. Whoops. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, there. There's the link to the archive channel if anybody wants to check it out. I usually, at, uh, I fell behind last week because I've been sick, um, but I usually put them up a week after they air here. So a week after they go up here, they go up on the archive channel. Enjoy your lurk, Mysterio! The Dragon Quest on the archives? Aw, thanks for checking out the archives. What did you, what did you end up deciding? I, I wasn't super into Dragon Quest, but uh, that's just because it wasn't to my personal tastes. It, I don't think it was a bad game by any means. Let 
lunch rush is starting soon. Oh my god. What is that cooking? It smells incredible. Dragon Quest Eleven, the one on the Switch. Alright. Please, yes, please rest up your hand, Mysterio. It shows its age as a series. It wasn't bad, I... Yeah, we've talked about this before. I'm just not that into, um... I guess uh, anime stories that are very like anime influenced need to need to like really tell us really solid story in order for me to be interested in them, um, and and by like really solid story I mean like like you know something very unique and interesting and new. Um, so a lot of uh, just a lot of stuff that follows familiar familiar story patterns are perfectly fine, but I'm not I don't I don't get engaged by them. Order was placed for a chocolate chip cookie. Oh god damn it, really? Solid choices. <sighs> Only 14 bucks. Only 14 buckaroodles. Hello, welcome in everybody. Welcome into the stream. We're playing Lemon Cake, which is a wonderful and adorable bakery simulator. Um, kind of like, kind of like Diner Dash, Dine and Dash. Kind of like that kind of game. Oh, I'm tired. I, I, all of these are gone. Chocolate covered strawberry go. Um, strawberry donut go. And we'll go for the baguette. We haven't seen the baguette in a while. Yeah, people don't tip you as. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's probably why. Did not earn a lot of money that day. Only 17 bucks and nothing really, nothing quite to spend it on. Spending it on an extra display counter at this point doesn't seem like too bad of an idea. All is well? All is doing fairly well, yeah. I hope all is well for you too. I hope you had a really great stream. That's also an adorable emote. It's an adorable emote. All right. Lots of mess. You can see the tips bonus under the actual menu. Sounds like you've been having a good time with this with this game. Do you think you're still? You do you think you're gonna like uh, play this game to the end, or do you think? Uh, nah. <sighs> 
What's up? Strawberry donut! Oh, damn it. I literally just wa watered y'all. I swear. You're playing it right now, huh? Well. That's a very solid recommendation if ever I've heard one. Man, I can't wait to get the sprinklers. I can't wait to get that magic broom. Oh, they both want one. I'll make another one just in case. I'm sure more people will be wanting these. Oh damn it, really? Every time, I swear. Rush is going to be starting. Good to have an extra baguette. Candy. Chocolate strawberry. Baguette, need more baguette, need more baguette. <laughs> oh, you want a baguette. Here you go. Bam, crushed it. All right. You get a baguette, and you get a baguette! This game is cute AF, I agree. It's also only $13. I'm just out here trying to help indie devs give, make money. Don't mind me. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. They're taking away the baguettes before I can even make the baguettes. Oh my gosh, they want so many baguettes! Oh, to the point that we've actually leveled up! Ooh, that seems difficult. Both of these kind of do. We'll go with the blueberry bagel. There you go. More baguette. More baguette. Oh. Oh, I think that's too many baguettes, my bad. Nope, just enough baguettes. What we need still is a strawberry donut. She's been waiting a while in a dark cafe for her donut. All right. Whew. 
Thanks for the drink, Mysterio. Marie, the baguettes, hurry up! find an in-game avatar that looks enough like you. Yeah, that's fair. It looks very similar. Even if, yeah, I'm constantly, like, serving food to myself. That's fine. That's my dream. Look what I did. <laughs> oh, no, I feel so bad. Oh, no, no. a game fell through. That stinks. That happens fairly frequently. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick break here so that I can munch on some food and you guys can go use the bathroom, get your snacks, get water, rest your eyes, all that jazz. Um, but when we come back, I'm very curious about what we should do for the last, this last chunk of the stream, because the stream is going to be, we got, we got like a little bit more of before the stream ends, but I want to know which game you guys are interested in checking out. We could continue, continue with lemon cake. Or we could go into Minecraft briefly to check out what these surprises that uh, Frank and Chase have been working on are. If we don't do the Minecraft today, we'll do it some other day. So don't feel like don't feel like pressured to be like, well, we have to do Minecraft now, or we'll never do it. Um, but yeah, those are your options while we go on this BRB, and I will. Oh, sure, Fuzzborn. I'm not sure that I actually have followed them yet. Um, <laughs> good luck, Yellow Ring. But yeah, I will post that poll. It will go for, uh, I don't know, for five minutes. And then I will see you guys when I get back from this BRB. So, BRB.
Thank you for giving me that uh, break to scarf down a bunch of food. Tasted great. Feel feel awesome. Uh, you choose shotgun? Yeah, I saw. See, this is the thing. This is the thing that I'm warning you guys about tying. If you end up tying the poles now, people have learned to snipe the poles. They've learned to snipe the poles. But, you know, I said, whatever won the pole, we were going to keep playing. And whoever sniped that pole, that one person really wanted to see this game continue to be played. So we'll adhere to their wishes. Rose Hip Tease, thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here. Do you happen to, I mean, maybe you just enjoy teas. Do you happen to sell teas? I love tea. <laughs> that is why I'm asking. Made an eight and dozen pastries. It didn't let you vote. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was timed for um, five minutes. So yeah, if you came in just, just a little bit late. I'm sorry, but the good news is that we are going to be going into Minecraft on a later date. So in another stream, we'll be going into Minecraft. This is not our last chance to check out Minecraft. So, if, you know, if that's something that you're interested in and you haven't followed, you could do that. Go do that. Also, thank you to the person who subscribed to the Archive channel. I appreciate that <clears throat> today. Okay, menu. Menu for tomorrow. Oh! They're just still fine with it, I guess. They're still fine with it and recharge your sprint. Eh, I'm okay on that. Keep my plants watered for longer. That might be the next thing that I go for. You were changing a diaper. This game is cool though. Nice for it to continue. That's fair. Are you the, were you the sniper fuzz? Right, everything looks good for now. <sighs> oh man, you know when you eat a lot of food really fast after having not eat, ate a bunch of food for a while and your stomach starts being like, <laughs> that's happening to me right now. I ate so, I don't tend to eat fast often. I tend, I'm actually like a ridiculously slow eater. Like if you ever go to dinner with me, I apologize. I'm that slow of an eater. Um, so for me to eat, to eat quickly, my body was not prepared. You did vote for lemon cake? Oh, you subbed to the archive. Oh, thank you. I, I really do appreciate that. When we hit a thousand subs on the archive channel, that's when I'll be able to monetize the archive channel to... I don't know how much it would go for. The thing is that YouTube already runs ads on the archive channel without me asking them to. So it's not like, basically all I'm saying is the ads already run if you don't have ad block or YouTube red. And this would just be helping it, you know, helping the money actually go to me instead of just to YouTube, which is a thing right now. So that's why it's a goal. Not because I want to, Bam the archive channel with ads, but just because I want the ads that are already there to fund me. <laughs> no matter how much you look at the video, it doesn't count. Not necessarily. So right now YouTube has like certain metrics about what they what they're looking for in terms of people that they want to monetize. And I'm currently hitting all the metrics except for the subscriber, but the other things about the metrics are that, you know, people need to, um, need, still need to be, like, watching consistently. I need to have, like, a certain amount of watch time and all that stuff in order for YouTube to like it and think that it's fine. Um, so it does still matter, and it helps, like, it helps the algorithm, it helps some people find some videos. Surprisingly, uh, people have actually found the stream through the Archive channel, which is wild to me, but oh, that, that, that's gonna burn. That baguette is gonna burn. But yeah, currently for any ads that are on the archive channel, like, you can skip them. <laughs> Cause yeah, the money, the money is going to YouTube, it's not going to they do that with like beginner creators. They'll still monetize their videos, but won't give them any cut of the money until after the you hit the 
metrics. Uh, you're not wrong, except in that. Oops. You're not wrong, except in that. A daily motion doesn't have much of a user base compared to YouTube. Take that, YouTube. Indeed. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. They're like, the window displays are empty. And I'm like, I know, I know they are. I know, leave me alone. really excited about like the patreon though because it's getting i'm i'm close to halfway to the goal of 100 which is very exciting because i made that goal in january and we're already we're at 42 i think people on the patreon and i understand um just to be clear i understand that like you know not everybody can consistently give to the patreon so don't feel bad if you know, you signed up at one point and then it ended up not being feasible for you to continue. That's fine. I understand. Um, but still, I'm, I'm excited about... I'm excited about that. Since YouTube has infinite scrolling. Man, infinite scrolling is such a... a, like... evil thing. <laughs> infinite scrolling really is... When you think about like how apps are designed to keep you on them, infinite scrolling is one of the most dastardly things. Yeah, honestly, it's a re it's really cohesive, um, especially for a one one person team. Um, it's it's just it's very cohesive. Yeah, the systems like I I feel like it has a good balance. That's how TikTok gets me. I know TikTok even has those darn TikToks where they come in and they're like, hey, you've been scrolling for too long. And I'm like, you think that's ever, do you literally think that's ever gonna, I, I scroll right past every time I see that guy. He's like, hey, you've been scrolling. I'm like, not for you to judge, sir. Not today. None of your business. All right, let's try some pretzels. Let's try some... We'll try this cherry jelly again, and we'll try some marshmallow twist. Let's buy this so the plants stay watered. Ah, you finally fixed the greenhouse sink. The water coming out of it looked so murky. But now that the water is clear, I bet the plants will stay hydrated for twice as long. Stay hydrated. Maybe that is the point of the TikToks. So that's definitely the point of how they designed the TikTok. Absolutely it is. Okay, let me get one of these cherry jellies going because you never know. You never know when it'll happen. Gotta be prepared. Yeah, honestly, when I think, like, when I think, man, when I think about how social media apps are designed to, like, keep you on them, it just, like, just kind of freaks me out a little bit. Just kind of freaks me out a little bit. Oh, perfect timing, my friend. You are. It's pretty freaky. Yeah. I think about it a lot, like, you know, 
Especially with, like, a bunch of the people who were spreading conspiracy theories getting kicked off of Twitter and Trump getting kicked off of Twitter, too. Uh, like, it's made such a huge impact on things. It's, it's fine, but I'm very strongly pro-regulation. And I feel like I'm allowed to be. I feel like I'm allowed to be. I will never not stop being like, I once met the CEO of a tech company that I can't comfortably say who it was or which company because I was sworn to secrecy at the time of this meeting. It's fine. Um, but like, I asked him why tech companies were like this. And basically what it, what it boiled down to was that they needed a financial incentive to fix it because there was the the only like they had designed themselves into a corner where the only thing that made anyone profitable as a social media company was to basically exploit like humanity's like baser instincts and also our like the way our brains are wired to get us to stay on the app long enough and that led to like a lot of outrage culture, a lot of misinformation spreading, like, it made all that stuff more viral, all because they were trying to look for a way to profit. And most of these companies haven't profited until, like, 20... Um, until, like, mid-20... Basically, 2015, a lot, of, a lot of these companies didn't even start profiting until then. Um, And that's always made me upset. Like, I understand, he, he explained it and I understand, like, kind of when you, run, when you run a company that big, you don't get to make the, the decisions that you want to make with the company at that point. Like, it kind of gets out of your hands. So even though they wanted to do something to fix it, they basically weren't allowed to, even though he was a CEO of the company. Um, but basically, because they had become profitable at that point, changing the algorithm would have hurt, harmed their shareholders and that's actually like not it's not like legal to make decisions that would harm your shareholders um without like some kind of end goal of profit in mind it gets very complicated but point being i really want some regulation for these freaking companies please like he told me why and i was like well that's fine and all but like stop destroying the fabric of democracy <laughs> you know messy yes very messy indeed that's the easy way to sum it up. It's just messy. You find it best not to dwell on it? That's quite fair. It's my workplace, <laughs> so I dwell on it a lot. <laughs> Mind your own business, random TikTok person. I wonder, like, they must know that 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 that's not effective. They, they have to know. They have the algorithms, you know, they have the analytics, they can check. I, I do not know a single person who's ever told me that that has stopped them from scrolling on TikTok. They have to know. They probably need to legally have that on. Probably. Probably in like some country. I know that certain countries mandate that kind of mandate like take a break. Maybe it's Japan. Nintendo has that too, but I don't know. I know Nintendo had that because they got pressured into it by parents. I don't know if it was legally required, but it's possible that the parents pressured actual legislation through. Um, but then again, Sony doesn't do that kind of thing. So I think it was just that Nintendo was pressured because parents were like, my kid's playing too much weed. Or not Sony. Oh my god. Square Enix and other games like that. Other games made in Japan, not Sony. Sony is... <laughs> hey, oh boy, Sid. Fake concern to have that video. Yeah, of course they don't. Leave democracy alone. Very, a small ask. Similar space. Mm, yeah. 
I met Jeff Bezos but couldn't take any of his money. Oh my god, I cannot imagine meeting Jeff Bezos. Thank thankfully, like, as far as like the big spectrum of social media companies go, the person who I met was from like one of the companies that I actually have somewhat positive associations with. So I was like, like I looked at it and I was like, you're not really contributing to the party, to, to the problem. But he like, you know, he like knew the CEOs of like Twitter and stuff. So he, he like knew them and he was like, well, <laughs> let me tell you how it goes. He's like, we're all struggling with this. And I'm like, all right, all right, that's valid. It's, it's valid to struggle, I guess. Oh, sprinklers are so expensive. I guess the next thing that I'm gonna save up for then is gonna be this rail cart. Cause that rail cart looks like it's gonna come in handy. In handy. Another hard day's work at Risky Biscuits. <laughs> Risky Biscuits. Man, my poor girl just lives at this bakery. What is this about? Oh, my game save. My poor girl has no other life. An accurate self-representation? No life other than work. Eat, sleep, breathe at work. I mean, I work from home, so it's not really wrong. That's restaurant ownership. Oh yeah, no vacations ever. I can't imagine the amount of stress that you would be under if you actually did try to take a vacation from your restaurant, because I would be the, like, mm -mm. I would be struggling. <laughs> well, that's your life since March. We're all in the same, well, not all of us, but a lot of us are in the same boat here. the assistant but the assistant is so far away I don't think that I'll be able to play this game for much longer because it's causing my my uh, hands to cramp <laughs> please browse our menu there's exactly three options make up your mind go There's like a blanket on the floor and out of the corner of my eye, it looks like pumpkin. So I keep just like turning around and I'm like, what do you want pumpkin? It's a mute blanket, what? about is that in 12 minutes for you <laughs> time zones man i i despise time zones it's fine but i despise them what an odd construct humanity created i under i understand and appreciate its function but like man we're weird we're just a weird species we do weird things Go, 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 go. 
cherry jelly. Two cherry jellies. Oh, oh, oh why? Please get rid of daylight. Agreed with the daylight savings for sure. Alright, number two. Running, 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 running. Okay. Running back, running back, running back. Alright, running forward, running forward. Is that what a running is that what a running back is in football? I don't I don't pay attention to sports. I understand how football works, but I don't understand any of the positions or plays or anything like that. Is that what a running back does? Do they just run things back? But you want it now. Uh, if it's one dev, well, I don't I don't know what 12 I've never looked into 12 minutes, but if it's one dev, it might take them some time. Yeah, but then we'd have the issue of, like, people waking up at odd times of the day. Which maybe, I don't know. That would make it hard for, like, uni the universal human experience. Since we're all built. Because that would mean that, like, some people, like, let's say that, like, central time. Let's say that, like, central time is, like, the main time zone that we pick. That would mean that for some people, they're just waking up and going to they're primarily waking up at like darkness hours and if there's one thing i've learned from studies about daylight savings time and also studies about time zones it's that if you wake up at night <laughs> to go to work you're way more likely to get into a crash than if you wake up at dawn or when it's daylight for some reason the brain is this way that is that is what i remember from slight amount of reading. Oh, it's been a while since we did the chocolate croissants. Seems good. Only 43 buckaroonies, but that's okay. We're working up to 120, right? <laughs> it's true. That's not at all what I said. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I'm definitely for getting rid of daylight savings. Like, that's, I don't, it's fine. Let's go make a chocolate croissant ahead of time. Cupel? Let's make a chocolate croissant, Cupel! I am very excited to get back to our Final Fantasy IX playthrough, by the way. I apologize that it's been so long. I don't trust my ability to be able to, like, read text aloud and play that game for a long period of time. Honestly, like, on to be completely honest with you, I still get them mixed up, so I don't even know the answer to that, Chase. I don't even know. Like... Basically, for me, what happens is the time changes and then like somebody or my phone tells me that the time changes and then I'm like, it changed and I have no idea. Like somebody's usually like, we gained an hour or something and I'm like, did we? Oh, like I'm just not clued in. Cell phones have really messed me up on that. It's so convenient, but also very confusing. Yeah, I've done that before. Oops. Oh, no. Stop this. I've done uh, vocal exercises before. Um, it's not that. It's um, because of my thyroid issues. Um, your thyroid is in your throat, right? So my thyroid swells up when I stress my body out, like, at all. It also tends to swell when I talk for too long. Uh, 
So I'm like really, really prone to sore throats and getting just like issues with my throat. Um, so I can't talk for very long for a specific period of time. Yeah, it just, it just messes the things up because I've tried a lot of vocal exercises. I had a humidifier. I drink a lot of water. I'm actually like trained in how to protect my throat. Not that I do it that often, but I'm trained in how to protect my throat when talking because I have, um, you know, I have theater training. I used to be a paid actress, all that jazz. And yet, <laughs> and yet, my body shows me how to have hubris. No, the window displays are empty. Okay, I'm just one person. Yeah, pirate issues are a super bummer. <laughs> I agree. I've been struggling with a flare-up all this month, which a lot of you guys know. Which, um, by the way, I mentioned this in the Discord, but for people who who didn't know, um, I wrote a little I wrote a little article talking about like my flare. I, I clicked off the game to type it in the chat, and it made the music stop. It made it seem so serious. Um, but yeah, I wrote up a little post for anybody who's curious about like what happens when I go into a flare up. Like when I say that I'm, I've gotten sick for a long period of time, I'm having a flare up and what that means for my content, I put it down there. So if I'm ever in a flare and like, you're worried about my content, like that tells you what to expect. And it also explains like how my flares were, it, 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 it just, it's very educational. So if you were ever curious, please, please read that. Now I'll answer your questions. Let's see. Ooh, a fourth recipe slot in my daily menu. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll take the honey tap, even though like it's gonna be a billion years until I am able. Whoa, hello. There you go. Honey tap. Cause I like the concept of it. Even if I can't make it right now. Mostly worried about me, not my content. Aw. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for worrying. You absolutely don't need to worry about me when I'm having a flare-up, though. Flare-ups are very, um... I mean, I well, relatively normal. Um, when, I, when you have a chronic illness, it's just you go in and out of periods where you're healthier and periods where your illness is, like, really gunning for you, you know? So, uh, I'm not in any danger when the flare-ups happen. I... Because uh, because I know how to take care of myself, kind of. <laughs> Reading that will help your worry. Oh, did it help? Did it help ease your mind? I was hoping that, I was hoping that it that it would. I was hoping that like some clarity might. I don't know. <laughs> I know that a lot of people get worried when it comes to my health, and it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm doing fine. actually like be cast flare upon my enemies oh that'll get them good that'll get them real good well it's like one of the things that's so nice about the stream is that like generally speaking i can stream so often despite like being a sick person um like i'm very lucky to have a lot of jobs that i can all, all my jobs are work from home because i would really struggle to have a job outside of the outside of my apartment. So I, I'm really lucky that like the stream and my game dev combined can like cover all of my bills and can especially cover the kind of like increase in expenses that sometimes my illness requires me to do. <laughs> I'm like, da, 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 almost $300 a month in pills. Da, 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 I'm like, I look, I'm, I'm so excited for the day when like I regularly earn enough money that I can just be like, yay, let's do charity stream. Like let's do like at least one charity stream a month because I don't actually have to worry about like trying to make ends meet. I'm really excited for that time to come. I think, I think it'll come someday. I think it'll come. So I'm hoping for it. <laughs> My, I own myself very well, but deep down, I down, but deep down I'm down. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Um, ooh, new recipe slot. Let's put um, the donut in. Yeah, that's good. You kind of assume that I know what I can handle. 
anytime someone has a modification. That's a great assumption. That's a really great assumption because I definitely don't like when people like patronize me and um, if if they're like extremely close, like 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 if it was Zek, Zek who has like lived with me and like also had to pay the price when I overdo it because Zek has to pick up the slack uh, with like a lot of like cleaning and stuff like that. Zek is like maybe the only person that I would allow to tell me that like, hey, you need to stop. Maybe maybe some of my closer, some of my really close friends, but like it needs to be somebody who actually like knows my body and would be able to tell me like, the last time you did this, it went poorly rather than just like random strangers telling me what I can and cannot handle. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm like, how dare you? Deep down. <laughs> oh, but deep down, I know. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very fair. Oh, that's awesome, Epic. That's such an exciting time. Well, I mean, you guys know my personality. I also just generally don't like being told what to do if I already know what to do. Like, generally, that's like a really quick way to get me to be real grumpy. With you. <laughs> oh, I'm such a particular person about so many things. That gave you a lost flashback? I've been having this thought lately, and I'm curious about whether you guys think that this would be good. I have this, this games list here, and it's a list of all the games that I've ever played on stream with links to their archives. Um, and right now it's organized into like narrative based and, um, it's organized into narrative based and like other. I was wondering if you guys think that it was worth the effort to categorize them more, like if you guys think that that would be useful. Because if you don't think it would be useful, I won't waste the effort. But if somebody thinks that it would be useful to help them find like good playthroughs to watch, then I'd do it. But it's one of those ideas that I had that I'm like, is this a waste of time or not? <laughs> What do you want, person? Chocolate covered strawberry. It's it's a chocolate covered strawberry, but then they have this like, they have all this white glaze. And I'm just like, what is the white? Is the white glaze just sugar? There's no sugar in this recipe. It's just strawberry and cocoa. It's fine. It looks delicious and that's what's important. You've played a lot of games. You think it would be helpful? Okay, cool. Then I will for sure do it. Eventually. Strawberry, not cherry donut. Cherry donut? Mm -hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of cherries and sweets. Actually, I'm like the smallest fan of cherries and sweets. I don't like it. You'd, you'd have to really sell me on cherries and sweets. I just don't. They're just like, I like cherries by themselves. I don't like cherries and sweets. People who look for what content they are looking to digest, yeah. <laughs> Seeing that game on the list made you smile. Of course, you know about Anna, right? I don't need to tell you about Anna. Husborn. All right, bye, Mysterio. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you for hanging out. I hope your hand gets better. I hope the doctor can, you know, prescribe you something that will help. their smaller list. Gotcha. It'll it'll all still be like it'll all still be on the same page, but they'll have those big headings and I'll probably, you know, I'll have them be like cozy games, cozy slash chill games. I'll put them into like simulations. I don't know. I'll figure out I'll figure out an easy way to to organize them. Probably an entire category just for like Stardew Valley Story of Seasons type games. Did 
Did something happen? Oh, nothing, nothing happened. I just, um, Sharky Enna, who uh, pops into the stream all the time, is the writer for Arcade Spirits and its sequel, which is coming out, um, which is like in development currently. So if you hadn't, uh, didn't know that one of the devs from Arcade Spirits streamed, I wanted you to know. But yeah, she's fine as far as I can tell. Last time I last time I spoke to to her, which was very recently. Even if it's all on one page. All right, awesome. Will do. Thank you, thank you for giving me your thoughts. I appreciate that. It can be hard. It can be hard to know whether something is like something you know that only I want, or whether it's something that's actually useful. That's good news, hooray. Gone home? Gone home? I'm gonna need to Google that game to see, to see if I've played it. I don't know that I've played it, so that might be why. Oh, sorry about that, Fuzzborn. Sorry about that, no. I think that was probably just a thinking noise. Do you think it's a game that I would like, Psyduck? Whew. Every time I finish a day in this game, I'm like, phew, busy day. Tight. What am I doing with my life? I, man, uh, this? <laughs> I don't know. but 18 is better than nothing. At the end, you cry. Thank you for that. Thank you. So, Brand Dude, hi! How have you been? How have you been? Lemon Cake is really, really good. It's super cozy. Super cozy. Maybe, um, the gameplay is fairly repetitive, so if you, if the cozy vibes, if you think the cozy vibes can't carry you through a whole stream, then have something else to play, but like, it's, yeah, you. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh, just sleeping a lot. What? Relatable. So, Brand Dude, thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back to the fold. I need to pop into your, one of your streams again recently. I've been, I've been sick for so long. I haven't been able to really, like, participate in other people's streams, like, almost all month. So I need to give him another... I need to get in there. Let's see. Gone home. Yeah, I don't think I've played... I don't think I've played Gone Home. Hmm. I, I don't think I've even heard of it. So, it seems like something you recommend, though, for me to play. <laughs> you appreciate me as a human? Oh. Thank you. I... You know, I'm sure you understand. In the in the vastness of the streaming space, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, getting everything off the menu because we need entirely new recipes now. Let's get our stable marshmallow twist back up on there. I don't know that I have enough recipes for this, actually. I have a lot of recipes, but I can't actually make them all yet. Do this, all right, and this, okay. <laughs> Where's Kara? Hey, hey, I, I appreciate that. I, that is exactly. I'm like, please. I'm the narrative designer. Let the world know. I'm, I'm glad it's. I'm glad that you think of me. Thank you. It's a duty that I have. It's a duty to play the game. Oh, a lot of people have heard of. I've definitely heard of Gone Home. Like I've heard of it mentioned. I've never actually seen it from looking at the screenshots. I've never seen it, but I've heard of it for sure. And it's easy to finish in a single stream. Yeah, that's fair. The fact that you said it's only two hours long. Does it have voice acting at all? Third, I think you'll like, wow, yeah, there's a lot of people who think, okay, interesting. Oh, perfect. That's a very Kara friendly game. Okay, here, let me, uh, oops, sorry. Let me, let me write that down so that I can, uh, whoopsies. Remember to check it out. Hopefully. So 
saw my notes today. Gone home. Yeah, those are like, I, I honestly really love narrative based experiences that are like about three to four hours long. Cause for me, that's like a really, like two to four hours long. It's a really like nice time frame where you can like get a full narrative, but you, you don't necessarily get tired of the gameplay unless the gameplay is like frustrating, but usually the gameplay is not. So like for me, that's like a really solid time span for narrative games, personally. Yeah, was it? <laughs> Well, I do, I do like that. It's not, it's not hurting. It's not hurting things to tell that to me. So. Let's see, go over here and water these plants. I think it would be nicer if, I've gotten a lo uh, some of the upgrades at this point and I don't feel like I'm earning a lot more money than I was before. So. Kind of, one of the things, I think, like, maybe, maybe I'll end the stream after we get the, like, moving cart for the ingredients, um, and we, like, play a couple days, because I want to know whether that makes things faster, or whether it doesn't, with where we're at currently. Because the, the second oven hasn't, like, overwhelmingly helped, I would say. It doesn't seem like it's gotten easier. I am making slightly more money than I was in the beginning. A hint you discovered? Sure. Oh, fuck. Yes, good. Try more random recipes. Um, I can't actually try more random recipes because I don't have the ingredients for them yet. So, these are the recipes that I got and I need to spend money. I need to purchase the ingredients. The next ingredient that I can purchase is 50 bucks, but I'm trying to buy something that's 120 bucks right now. I think it's like 50 bucks and then there's 80 bucks. I can buy eggs for 55 bucks. All of that is like probably like three to four days of playing. in order to earn a new recipe, which is why I'm trying to focus on uh, on stuff that might help me make things faster. Cause I feel like, I feel like my instinct is that this is a quantity issue, not a quality issue, but I, I don't know for sure. Try putting the most expensive item, but the most expensive item takes the longest. Ah, that's fair. I guess the most expensive item is the chocolate cookie in this case. Lunch rush, lunch rush. Just gonna start. Mm. Let's see. Let's try. Let's try making. I make it a lot of cookies. I think cookies are the best option right now. No! Oh, it's because I don't have another. Oh, and somebody wants a pretzel. only asking for them. Yeah, I've noticed that they definitely they definitely do ask for whatever you put up there and it does help make that easier. I wonder if I stop why would I come in here and grab water? My trees are already fully watered and I'm trying to bake cookies uh. <laughs> video game instantly turns into a five year old kid. Stop it stop Poking me, mom. <laughs> oh man, it's like you can tell that I grew up with two siblings. Mom, she won't stop poking me. 
I'm not poking you. I'm not touching you. See, I'm not touching you. That's the kind of stuff that my sisters would have, yeah. Amazing impression of you in first grade. You in first grade, me now. What can I say? I'm a child at heart. When you say it like that, it sounds so charming. All right, let's see if favoring the uh, chocolate cookies has helped us much. My sister would do this, that, that like the whole I'm not touching you routine. My sister would do the whole I'm not touching you routine all the time and I would get so frustrated. <laughs> $20.70. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go with your strategy, Psyduck. Let's go with it. More chocolate chips for tomorrow. Ugh, we're so close. We probably need two more days before we can get it. Ooh, no. I have some prepping to do today. Hey, Octopus, we're playing a game called Lemon Cake, which is all about uh, operating your own bakery. Uh, and trying to like restore it to its former glory. So right now we're preparing, it's kind of like Dine and, Dine and Dash, I would say. So right now we're preparing things. Preparing the displays. Oh, that's so upsetting. I would have hated that. In, in my house, it, we were like very collaborative about video games. Like we would all sit together and watch each other play video games. And like whenever there would be a boss, cause like my older sister was usually the one who was playing and I'm thinking of like Zelda games and like Final Fantasies and stuff. And so whenever there was a boss, we'd all get like really serious and, these, and my older sister would be like, all right, you guys gotta leave. I have to concentrate. And so we'd have to leave the room and close the door behind us and be really, really quiet while she was playing the bosses because she was the only one who could beat them. And yeah, it was a whole thing. <laughs> Wholesome sisterly affection. We are a entire family filled with gamers, except for my mom. Everybody in my family games. <laughs> So uh, in the end, not surprising that I ended up becoming a video game developer. And we all have my dad to, <laughs> to thank slash blame for that. Cookies, cookies all day. Cookies, cookies, cookies all the way. Everybody get your cookies. Get your cookies, get your cookies. Get them hot, get them fast, get them big, get them small, get them goopy, get them uh, hard. I don't know. Do people like eating cookie, like chocolate chip cookies where the chocolate chips are like really like haven't been melted at all? I don't know about that. That doesn't, that doesn't sound good to me. Is it chill or frantic? It's pretty frantic. Um, I mean, you you can see from the gameplay here, this is this is what it is. So I would say it's like relatively frantic, but it's cozy enough that it doesn't feel really stressful to me. It might look stressful, but it doesn't feel stressful.
Oh, that's why nobody's sitting down. Damn it. During the lunch rush, too. So many things are getting sold. Technically, that's great news, but also I'm scrambling. I wish this game would stop. I wish I wish that they hadn't placed the watering can so close to the cocoa tree. Was definitely oh my god we made 120 dollars <gasps> psyduck your strat totally worked it totally worked we made it all the way to 120 dollars i guess i was doing this the wrong way you got a min max We did it. Oh, exhausting. Uh, which thing are you tired of? Well, let me first quickly get this rail cart. Ah, oh, the rail carts are back. Now be careful with them. They'll zoom around quickly. You can place an ingredient in a cart from the greenhouse and it'll go to the kitchen automatically where you can use it for recipes. You can only have four cards at once, so be sure to use them for your useful ingredients. Hmm, will it be that much easier? Hmm. If you say so. Okay, new menu. it is five minutes before <laughs> well I th thank you for, for allowing me to, to profit off of this so let's see how much the rail um, impacts how quickly we can go every day because that is what I am the most curious about let's see we're gonna have a, a lot of chocolate today we're gonna have a lot of cherry today Yes, it's the cherry jelly. So do I like, how do I, how do I grab the ingredients though? Oh, it automatically puts it in there for me? <gasps> oh my God, that's so useful. Go for the cherry jelly then. Oh, that's that is nice. That is not okay. This is nice. This is nice. This is useful. I like it. This is an excellent feature. Thank you. 
in before I become like a level five master of this game. Oh, okay, finally prepared. Here you go, come on in. And I guess once you have them out, they don't regrow until after you use them. So unfortunately, I can't like stock up on a bunch of different cherries and stuff, even though that'd be awesome. I can very easily make chocolate strawberries though, so that is definitely a pro. This is gonna make it so much easier to have menus filled with fruit. Oh. Hey, would you happen to want this? Oh, maybe I can, I can, bless. Another chocolate croissant. Yeah, yeah, this was a good buy. This was a good buy. Here are the two things I baked indeed. Awesome, I'm gonna get so many more perfect recipes now. Yeah, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, see, so this is what I wanted to know. I wanted to know whether the progression in the game was like actually feasible, whether the upgrades really improved things, and it looks like they do, and that is great because that that was the one thing that I was like hedging on as far as like, ooh, do I want to recommend this? I don't know. Like, games like this can sometimes fall into traps there. How's oh, that an apple? Very crumble it is. All right. Yozy. <laughs> Thank you for following. Enjoy your apprenticeship here. Did sell a pastry. Indeed, I sold it. You have no idea how much I sold that pastry. You have no idea, my friend, how much I sold that pastry. We're here for the lunch rush. Can't wait for this automatic broom. It's gonna make things much easier. Now having two ovens makes sense because it's actually like rather feasible for me to make two things at a time with this speeding everything up. Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. already. Evening already. The 
practically did it for your the second over. Oh, the second oven, but practically did it for your window thing. Got it, yeah. Here you go, my friend. Enjoy that delicious meal. Right, I haven't baked it. I'm trying to put out raw dough for people to eat. Come eat at my bakery. I accidentally set out some raw dough. Surpass you with the rail thing. Yeah, the rail. Th this. Yeah, this is so. This is like double what I was earning before. Your your uh, your tip combined with this has done a great job. So yeah, now I can I can uh, completely and totally wholeheartedly recommend this game if this is the kind of gameplay that you like. It's very fun. It's very fun. Is this cake only, Portia? A little less game volume? Sure. You've been to worse bakeries. Thanks. <laughs> All right, we got one more day with these recipes. The kitchen, oh, the kitchen, the kitchen window. The kitchen window I want. Oh. I want it. But let me get the display counter, because that'll get us there faster. I'm probably going to end up 100%ing this game, just so you know. Just so you know. The window- yeah, I bet the window's really good. I bet the window's way better than the ingredient thing, honestly. And the ingredient thing is pretty good. Warren, do you like, like, din Diner Dash type games? Oh, I, I was asking Warren. I was asking my friend Warren. You haven't played one in like 15 years? Would you play this one? It's very cute. <laughs> it looks interesting. Yeah, there's a skill tree and everything. It's very um, complex. Right now, no customers are coming in. I know, I know. Oh, sweet, it's not gonna burn. <laughs> Lucked out there. This whole game was made only by one person, and the game, just, again, just reiterating, the game is on sale for this week, I think. It's only $13 right now, and it just came out, um, the developer specializes in making really cute and cozy simulation games. Also chaotic. It's kind of chaotic, but like it doesn't feel as chaotic because of how cute it is. Only one person, yeah. Only one person who, as far as I can tell, it seems self-funds the games that, uh, that she, they make. Sold a pastry, time to make another pastry. what I thought. Thought you'd ask for that strawberry. I gotta get the cherries out again. You could only stream one of two. Pathological or lemon cake? What? Warren, why would you make me choose that? Why would you be a pathologic, pathologic? I want you to play pathologic. Because I don't want to play it. I want to watch you play it. Warren, you don't understand. You'd be so much more entertaining playing it than I would be. <laughs> you don't understand. All 
right. Let's go. Gotta keep crushing it. We're on it. We're making that money. Making that money. Oh, an order was placed and I didn't notice it. Oh, no, why? Order was placed for the chocolate croissant. The one thing I was not prepared for. Chocolate covered strawberry. Regathering. I have to play Gone Home before I can play Pathologic. not actually that far behind never mind <gasps> that's my life that's literally my whole life my whole life is me screaming I'm so far behind and then finishing something and being like oh I'm not actually that far behind it's a mood <sighs> we're still baking baking up a storm are empty, okay? I'm having a hard enough time keeping up with these wonderful people I'm buying my food. enjoying this game quite a bit. It's very pleasant. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I agree. It's very pleasant. I probably won't stream it again, um, just because it's, a. Uh, I don't think it's, um, <laughs> I don't think it would stand up to a second stream. We'll put it that way. Yeah, since the gameplay loop is so, uh, so similar. But it's a, it's a really fun game. It's really cute. It's, it's, it's very cozy. Huh. <sighs> 26 buckaroodles. You just got off work and you're ready to chillax. Welcome in. I'll probably play maybe like, maybe like another day or so. The only problem with this game is that it's kind of taxing on your hand, on your wrist to be mashing the buttons as quickly as, 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 uh, as I do when I play. Let's get some of you. Oh, get the strawberry donuts back in there. Get our marshmallow twist. I've made uh, so many marshmallow twists that it went from being worth 50 cents to being worth a dollar and six cents. This game should be at Evo. Will you play me? Because I bet I'll kick your ass. <laughs> the French baguette's now worth a dollar 28. Strawberry donuts, $2.50. Okay. We're prioritizing strawberry donuts with the pretzels in second. See, we made back 30 bucks in a day. That's so much better than we've been doing. Technically, I could collect eggs to make, to make uh, this, Eggs Benedict. Meh. Next day. Yeah, it needs, needs controller support. I would love controller support. You said that there was going to be an update in spring. Did uh, did she end up saying what the update was going to be for? Hmm. 
Rune Factory 5? I don't know. I think it's still in development, but I just haven't heard. I haven't heard from it, really. She doesn't even sleep. She's, she's a hard worker, what can I say? You might even say that she is just a worker. That is, that is who she is. That is what she is. That is that is what she has dedicated her life to, is this bakery, this ghost bakery. It's small business simulator, yeah. But, uh, basically, people who own small businesses do not get to take breaks from them. Joy Toki? What is a Joy Toki? Shoot, they want something different. They want a baguette. Uh, has somebody bought something for me, please? Oh my god, nobody's bought anything. What's your order? Oh, thank god. Baguette, go. Yes, thank you. Made too many baked goods. Girl, I, w I would go to a bakery and order a straight up baguette. I would do that. That's me. Same vibe. Oof. A little free software let you set up a joy pad. Interesting. Including the movement of the mouse. Interesting. I'm not sure I'd be any good at setting that up. Damn. That makes sense. Oh, d d pretty cool she got featured in Oprah's magazine. I hope it I hope it helped her in the end. I hope it boosted her a lot. Uh, but I wonder if the, the orders would have sustained. Oh, yeah, the lunch rush is gonna start. I'm really starting to sound like a person who owns a small business, huh? Oh, boy, the lunch rush. Watching the behind the scenes was painful. Oh wait, was like featured on the show? I was thinking like Oprah's magazine for some reason. Whenever I think of Oprah, I think of her book club, so I think of her magazine. Every day. 
Oh my god, they took the donut already. Gotta go fast. I just unlocked an achievement called Gotta Go Fast. Oh my god, they took my- I just put it up there, lady! Calm down! Made a lot of money today, though. That's always fun. It was the magazine? Oh, sharing the process on social- Man, I would love to read that. That would be so fascinating. I do not have the other. The other table costs like uh, 200, $200 or something. I'm not making that much money yet. Fresh baguettes. Fresh baguettes at 4 p.m. Why not? Oh, 32 bucks. We've successfully gotten to like triple our initial money. Got a bunch of perfect orders. Uh, Psyduck's uh, strategy really works, so there's that. This game is, oh my God, this game is very, very, very cute. It's got, it's kind of like Diner Dash, this game is. Um, so if you like that kind of gameplay, it's very much, not even, not even the minimum wage. Um, but I own this business. It's different when I'm paying myself less than the minimum wage, excuse me, <laughs> as a game dev and a streamer. It's different. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that freelancing deep cut right there. Um, <laughs> hey, Landris! Hello! Thank you so much for resubscribing. Welcome back to the fold. Every commission you ever took. Relatable. Relatable. You're super late. Aw, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We will be like ending the stream relatively soon, but. All right, what do you guys think? Should I save up for the kitchen window? Cause like the kitchen window is gonna enable me to literally just like throw pastries and have them go to the front, which sounds awesome. Or should I buy eggs? Should I get a chicken so I can have egg? I made $4 an hour. A job game that's regulated. This one visually speaks to you. It is adorable. Here, let me let me make sure. I'm gonna, um, I need you to make sure you see the ghost's tiny little hat bouncing around. I just needed, like, it was very important to me that you all would be able to see that for a second. So, I'm back now. <laughs> um, ah! Hmm. <laughs> How much was the, how much do, do I get? A dollar 75? Nah, I have other stuff that's better. I'll just keep going. I'll keep saving. I can make a much more expensive plate so I don't have to run as much as I do now. I don't have, I, the only thing I think that I have that uses eggs is this egg Benedict. Cause this uses honey. Yeah, and this uses blueberries, which I also don't have. So the only thing I think, let me see about blueberries. 42 bucks for blueberries. 90 bucks for grapes. And then like 55 bucks for the eggs. Ooh, cheers soft sheeps. All right. Uh, well, you know what? It will. Uh, mm, me trying to make decisions. Um, listen, I'll okay. I'll hold off for now because I'm still good with this current menu. They're not tired of it yet, so I'll keep this current menu. Keep strong with the strawberry donuts, and then next turn I might actually buy the blueberry bagel because it's worth so much here. Two dollars and twenty-five. That's really good. That's like almost as good as our strawberry donut. And we've had the strawberry donut for a long time to get good at and increase its price. So that's the plan. And also, mm, I'm probably only going to play like one or two more days because my hand's starting to <laughs> cramp up with all the running. 
Of course the fire goes out. Right when I get into Woik. Ain't that how it happens. I need three strawberry donuts to be widely available for the public to purchase. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. It is a very fun game, though. I mean, this is just the kind of game, like... I love games that have like really satisfying short gameplay loops that I can kind of play almost endlessly. Like I love gameplay loops like this. I really do. It just like, I don't know, it just satisfies the same part of my mind that likes to see things clean. All right, come on in everybody. Ready up some grub. Oh, somebody already came in for an order. Is my donut so enticing to you? Indeed it is so enticing to you, I'm happy to see it. Here you are, my friend. Enjoy your donut. I'll support you. Hey, Fiddler! Hello! Thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back to the Foodie Woody. To the Foodie Woody. Table needs to be cleaned up. I uh, know. Have strawberry donuts. Clean this table up. Get this baguette. Gets cooked the fastest. <laughs> Good to be back into foodie woody. Almost like foodie cootie. Management games, yeah. Management games and simulations, they're just my jam. Baguette about it. Baguette about it. It's a nice pun. Gotta keep up with the demands of the strawberry donuts! I don't have enough donuts. What if I do this? I don't have enough strawberries! Oops. Uh-oh, lunch is starting! Lunch is a very scary time in this game. Oh, I love RimWorld! I love RimWorld. All right, it's time for our back of the sweet pretzel. I'm out here trying to get her to walk into walls during during the lunch rush. Like a little silly bean. Go, go. Bam, crushed it. Too many, too many, too many people on the dance floor. Too many people. Too many people in my pastry shop. You played it back in alpha? I've never gotten off the island, but to be honest with you, my goal was never 
My goal was never to get off the planet in RimWorld. My goal was... My goal was to make an awesome colony, and I've done that multiple times over. Ooh. I'm behind, I'm behind. Now the store is closing. Now we get to wind down. Wind down session. Poof. Ooh, time to learn a new recipe. Grapes, apple, strawberry and egg. Oh, but it's only worth $2? Apple tart's worth a lot. I'll take the strawberry scone. I feel like I'm close to unlocking that. Lots of freaking baguette at 4, 4 p.m. in the afternoon again. What's up with that? You baguette lovers? Two colonies in the same time and it's harsh. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty unforgiving game. It's a pretty, pretty unforgiving game. I would say. Oh my goodness, okay. All right. Woof, there we go. Oh, sorry, I clicked off of the game and I forget that when I click off the game, it's like, it stops the music. Is RimWorld a space simulation type? Um, yeah, yeah, basically. Basically, RimWorld is like, you crash land on a planet with a bunch of people who have like randomized skill and abilities and you've got to try and build a colony and find your way and like build a spaceship back to your original planet and that's a very simple explanation for a game that's like kind of factorio-esque it's really fun it's really fun if you love building and like strategy and simulations it's very very fun <sighs> uh, Steam and potentially other places, but for sure Steam. Do love you do love building. Also, we made thirty five dollars that day, so I feel like we found the we found the hack for how to get things good. Man, I I would love to actually keep playing this game because I'm having a fun time. But I think like I think I actually have to stop because my wrist is getting a little bit irritated. So I must I must protect. Protect thine self. To thine own self be true. To thine own... Let's see. Let me buy Let me buy some eggs, though. Purchase. <laughs> cluck, cluck! Did you hear? The chickens are back! We'll be able to gather fresh eggs to use in recipes again. You'll have to make sure the chickens are clean and comfy, or else they won't produce anything. Just make sure to brush them regularly, and there shouldn't be any issues. Okay, let's go say hi to them now! Um, sure. So, yep, get uh, Eggs Benedict up in there. Get, uh, Strawberry Scone for whenever I play this next. Um, get, uh, also the Strawberry Donut. Not Strawberry Donut, it's not Strawberry Day. Sweet Roll and Chocolate Strawberry. Perfect, Strawberry Day. Oh, gluten-free. A new recipe using tip plus 100%. So it's a day that we, we're going to have to be careful with. So we'll start a new day. It saves. And then we'll go over here and we'll check out the... There's a chicken! Oh, they were dirty. They cute. They cute. They cute. So... That was uh, Lemon Cake. I probably won't be streaming it again just because it, you know, it's a very simple gameplay loop that could, would probably get repetitive to watch, but th it's really fun and I highly recommend it. It's on sale right now for only like $13, I think on Steam and it was made by one person. So please go support those indie devs. Wishlist it if you can't buy it now because wishlisting really helps indie games on Steam. It helps with the algorithm, helps discoverability. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we totally can. Um, and we'll start winding down the stream, so I'll swap over to IRL real quick. Please, would you like to share one good thing that happened to you today, or one good thing you're looking forward to tomorrow before we raid? Looking forward to you, to it. See ya over in IRL. 
Oh my gosh, I didn't expect to see any of you here. Wild. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was corny. Uh, was that uh, maybe a bit of a dad joke on my part? <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming, Roni. It was, it was fun, I did have a great time. Hey, Zareka. I'll say that my good, my definitely my good thing for today is that my lovely cat, Pumpkin, is still improving after getting really, really, really sick over the weekend. I'm glad she's responding to her meds. I'm just, I'm very happy that, I'm very, very happy that she's doing okay. Um, yeah, that, so that's my good thing for the day. You got your item shipped out today and your build is coming along. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see the finished product. And I'm, oh, now it's working. Hey. I'm excited to see the finished product and I'm excited to receive uh, my birthday present. <laughs> Variety up hand. Yeah, I'm sorry, Zareka. This game is a little bit tense on my wrists, so we'll be ending today. However, I will be back on Thursday at 3 p.m. PT. That's, I stream Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So if you're new, um, and especially if you just discovered me this stream as a, as a last uh, catch up, I'm Kara. I go by Cheritomo Online. I'm a narrative designer for video games as my job and a variety streamer. We usually play a lot of cozy and chill games like this or narrative based games that I will analyze while making it kind of like we did earlier with like Octopath Traveler and that whole discussion. And as I said before, I also do narrative design analysis videos on my Patreon for only $2 a month and you can watch the hours long narrative dissections and analysis that I did a Final Fantasy VII R, Final Fantasy VIII, and Persona V Royal at this point. With the next video this month, uh, because it's a short month, will not be a narrative analysis video. It will be a um, desk room tour, which, oh my God, I need to clean my room before I film that, huh? <laughs> Today you pass all day long, all oh, with the girl that you're, oh, that you're in love with. That's so sweet. That's great news, Psyduck. One good thing is that you finally push yourself back into playing Stardew Valley and you're starting to have fun in it. I'm glad you're having fun. I've also recently started playing Stardew and it's also been really fun. Scribble it? Pictionary with Twitch integration. I'm not sure that I've played Scribble it, but if it's got Twitch in integration, I'll look into it. I've been looking, um, I've been looking into um, community stuff. I've been trying to find community stuff that we can do even a way away from Twitch, just on the Discord together that like I can regularly commit monthly to that I don't have to worry too much about my spoons with. I haven't found anything that like 100% fits, but if you guys have suggestions, I'm super open to hear them. The issue is mostly just finding something that balances out with my, with like, in case I end up not having any spoons on the day that's planned. That's the situation. Looking towards uh, if you pass, to finding out if you passed the exam you had yesterday. <laughs> Pretty easy, but still nervous about it. That's the eternal exam uh, feel. Well, I hope that it's good news and I hope that you're able to relax in the meantime. Oh, Wizard of Earthsea. I've never finished reading that book, but I've started reading that book for a class. It was so good. I really want to read it. Thanks for reminding me that I want to read it. <laughs> hopefully tomorrow will hopefully better tomorrow because it's your second day off yeah i hope that your tomorrow will be better especially if your day was poo poo i hope your tomorrow will be a lot better you pushed through your migraine and still helped out with a baby damn Remy. damn nice pushing through a migraine is no easy feat you bought the stardew valley board game immediately so you're pumped for that yeah Honestly, if you get it, please, I mean, it's not gonna be out for a little bit, I think, but please tell me what you think of it. Cause I'm, I'm thinking about getting it, but you know, I want, I want to know people's opinions before I do. Among Us was really fun. Among Us is definitely more spoon intensive um, than, than most though. I'll see if I can figure something out. Cause I, I assume that like, you know, even if we only get to play for like an hour or two, I think that that would still be, you know, something people would be interested in. So let's go looking for somebody to raid here. And there's so many wonderful people. Oh no, there's so, <laughs> oh no, there's so many people that I can raid and I like them all. Oh, it's so hard every time. 
every time. Let's see. Um, how do you guys feel about a Final Fantasy XIV stream? How do you feel about that? Let's see, let's see. Is this person ending or, um... No, seems, seems good. I can't tell where they're at in this game, but I will tell you that, um... <laughs> Stardew Valley board game indeed did happen. So um, I can't tell you where exactly they're at in the progress of Final Fantasy XIV because I've never seen this area before, but they're almost definitely late game. Um, and they're definitely fighting some kind of boss raid battle currently. So keep that in mind if you're playing through Final Fantasy XIV yourself and you want to avoid spoilers. Otherwise, um, the person we're going to be raiding today is called a Chili Farmer. Chili, I'm, they, they've, uh, they've been in chat before, so you might have seen them around, but they're another of my Rainbow Arcade uh, friends and also a very, a, like, very chill, like, warm vibe in the space. So I think you guys will enjoy it. So let's get it gone. Bam. And as usual, before you guys leave, if you want to check me out on the socials, obviously I've got my Patreon and the Archive channel. You can sub to and watch over 400 VODs that we've done. So many narrative games for you to check out. So many Nancys to check out. But there's also uh, my Twitter, which I highly recommend you follow if you want to be kept up with all of the like guest appearances that I make places and news about the games that I'm making. That all is primarily on my Twitter. And then TikToks for especially funny clips of the stream. Um, yep. Yep, that's what I got. <laughs> that's what I got. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and taking a peek at this like wonderfully, wonderfully cozy game. As always, it was a pleasure getting to hang out with you guys. You guys are always just absolutely wonderful and treat me so kindly and I really appreciate it. Chill with a warm vibe. Yeah, yeah, chill with a warm vibe. So get your chair dances ready. Be ready to approach Chili with a barrage of chair dances. That is what I would like to see. Uh, and we'll be raiding. Chair dances are your nicest emote. All right, raiding in five, four, three, two, one. Good night, everybody. Bye bye.